the exploding man. <laughs> Last week, our group gathered in downtown Los Angeles to attend a friend's haunted house-themed birthday party. <laughs> Once inside, they encountered several strange rooms, including a weird gothic nightclub and a bizarre hall that was under renovation. Uh, they had encounters with Alice's brother, an aggressive drifter, a bizarre shadow creature, and a very, very creepy doll that left them unsure of what was real and what was not. Two redhead twins. <laughs> and, yep, yep. And two redhead twins that were very into Jake. They were not real. Mm, we'll see about that. <laughs> uh, once through the haunted house and at the party, the reality became apparent. Uh, there were explosions in the sky. A strange city appeared in the clouds as L.A. burned around them. So let's jump in. The sun is shining against a blue sky. It's a beautiful day at the Santa Anita racetrack. The sound of a bugle means its first call as jockeys lead their horses onto the track. Uh, away from the action in an office overlooking the track, uh, two men meet. A shifty looking mobster type in a black suit named Jimmy Saltz and the owner of the track, uh, Phil Macy. Uh, over Phil's shoulder. <laughs> hey, horse. Hey, there are horse. Just horses in the office. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you did back then. <laughs> Pardon me. Uh, standing behind uh, Phil. Uh, next to sort of his small library of books is a smaller young woman. Uh, this is Dorothy Wilson. And Dorothy, will you tell us a little bit about your character? I'm Dorothy Wilson. Uh, I'm about a 5'2 and some change, but uh, I've got a bigger personality to make up for it. I uh, work the races. Uh, always have been. Hopefully uh, moving up in the ranks soon. Phil sits back. He kind of runs his hands through his thinning hair. He clearly looks frustrated. Uh, him and Jimmy have been going in circles now for uh, uh, what seems like hours. Phil just sighs again and says, so, Jimmy, explain to me, why should the Marizanos care if, in addition to a little gambling and a little horses and a little cards, I want to get into the comfort business? I don't even understand at this point, honestly, why I should be asking permission. They're not even looking at West. The Marizanos aren't even looking at me. They're looking south at those redneck fucking moonshiners. And I, I, don't know, I, I don't know why I'm over here on my hands and knees begging. And Jimmy Saltz just sort of shy, sighs. He kind of glares at Dorothy a little bit. He has not been happy that another person has been privy uh, to this conversation, least of all a lady. Uh, he's been very sexist this entire time. Not very woke in the slightest, especially for a mobster. They normally are <laughs> normally so very woke. Just like <laughs> so very progressive. Yeah. The wokest. Yeah. Very, very, very. The um, realest of gangsters are the most respectful. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> especially till they're I learned this working yeah. with, with that risk youth. I learned this. <laughs> and salt's just sort of size again. And um, uh, look, Phil. I don't make the rules here. And he kind of glances at you, Dorothy, and sort of gestures with his glass. Mm. Maybe you're talking to the wrong kid, kid. The wrong kid? <laughs> you teach her to say shit like this? I just, I just want some whiskey, kid. You calling me kid, kid? Ugh. Phil just sort of like leans forward. It's just like, this is not getting us anywhere. Just give the man some booze. I'll do you something better. I'm going to get you the booze. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's just kind of staring at you and just kind of holds his glass. And uh, I'm assuming, you, yeah, just sort of taking the whiskey and he sort of watches you as you fill the glass. And uh, he just says, I'm sorry, the Marizanos say this is what you do. And this is what you do. Phil kind of takes... A look at you, Dorothy, and says, Wilson, I feel a little weird about this. I just, uh, you know, we're, we're a few thousand miles away from New York, and uh, I don't know, do you feel like we should be taking orders from New York? Because I don't feel like we should be taking orders from New York. I feel like the only people we should be taking orders from are standing right here, minus that guy, you and me. I love this girl. I just love the, the, the way with words. You know, Jimmy, do you have a son, Jimmy? Do you got a son? And Jimmy's just like, no, I don't have a son. And he's like, I've got a son. He's a piece of shit. 
He's a worthless piece of shit. This girl, she's my son. I love her. She's my blood. But like I said, we're across the country. I don't see why we need to be taking orders from New York. And Jimmy just sighs. He sort of looks defeated for a minute. And <sighs> Phil, I've given you a lot of opportunities to play ball here. And um, I got to tell you, just because the Marizanos are looking south doesn't mean they can't look west too. And in that moment, he just stands and he draws a knife and lunges over the, over the desk and just plugs the knife into Phil Macy's chest. And just oh. stares at him and looks back at you, just making direct eye contact as he just slowly pulls the knife out of Phil, holding his neck so he can't really lean forward and struggle and just pushes it into Ooh. him a second time and a third time. Guess we gotta wash that knife now. <laughs> that was clearly not what he expected. <laughs> <clears throat> he sort of pulls the knife away and... Yeah, I guess we do. I guess we do. Uh, throw me one of those, uh, one of those little, uh, one of those little napkins at the bar or something. And you're okay with this? Look, I look out for. I'm always on one team, my team. Interesting, interesting. Okay. <laughs> well, that works for me. I, uh, I don't like having to mess up a pretty face. So listen. Here's the way things are going to work for now. Uh, the Marizanos are putting me in charge. He starts sort of, sort of drone on about hierarchy and opportunity for you and this and that. And that's when you see Phil sort of start to lean forward out of the chair. The bizarre thing is that Phil is also still leaned back dead in the chair and this sort of jerky, um, unsteady, sort of shaky version of Phil starts to lean forward and suddenly Jimmy notices it. And it's just like, what the, what the fuck? And this weird, bizarre sort of version of Phil sort of almost like animation and film skipping frames pulls this knife out of its chest and starts to crawl across the desk towards Jimmy, who is now just in a full, full fucking panic and is just like, kid, 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 what the fuck, get this phone, what the fuck, what is this? As this weird version of Jimmy wraps its hands around, or this weird version of Phil wraps its hands around Jimmy's neck and just pulls him forward and just starts to, his mouth opens and it's, and it's Phil's voice, but the words he's saying out loud don't make sense. They're garbled, they're not even real words. It's just full nonsense as this weird, bizarre scene sort of unfolds in front of you. This thing that is Phil, but also not Phil strangling Jimmy. What do you do? I've got to break it up. I've got to break it up. You're diving in? I'm diving in. Okay. Uh, so what are you doing Boys. exactly? Tell me what you're doing. Boys! Get it together. <laughs> <laughs> so Someone's going to get out of here alive. So you're trying to like lean in and like pull? Sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, so Dorothy like leans in and just sort of tries to pull um, this weird version of Phil off of Jimmy. Your hands My just hands are push a mess. through him. They're uh, bloody. The, yeah, from cleaning the knife. Sure. Uh, but sort of the blood, just sort of your bloody hands, just where you would expect sort of just the streaks to like cover his clothes, your hands just sort of pass through him. And it almost feels like uh, uh, the feeling of like pushing your hands through like wet uh, linens or towels from a washer. Uh, it's just sort of wet and cold and damp, but your hands just pass right through. Uh, this version of Phil that just turns around towards you and just starts to yell. Just this whatever this weird garbled mess of words is. Stop. Stop. Look me in the eye. Look me in the eye. Are you a ghost yet? His eyes sort of like flicker with like this like weird recognition. Do you know me? Come on, remember? But he just sort of keeps like uh, sort of like talking in this weird garbled sense and as the, you sort of like 
uh, take a step back, uh, the door opens behind you. And a sort of bizarre, a similar sort of shaky, sort of frame-jumping version of Jimmy walks into the door, followed by a third version of Phil, who sort of greets him, gestures to the chair uh, for him to come in. Uh, they don't seem to take any kind of notice of you. No, not me. As uh, Over here. As Jimmy sort of sits in the chair where also Jimmy is while he's being strangled, and this version of Phil sort of passes all of it and uh, <coughs> sort of turns to the wall where you had previously been standing and just looks like he's talking to no one, uh, sort of gesturing uh, for a drink. And suddenly you're, this is feeling very familiar. This is how they walked in about two hours ago to start this meeting. This is where you I've were standing when you were waiting for them. Exactly. Um, so as this is happening, this finally this third figure starts happening. This light sort of starts to light up in the center of the room where all of these like Jimmys and Phils are now sort of starting to converge, and this light starts to emerge in front of you, and it just gets, keeps getting brighter and brighter and brighter until it's starting to actually just hurt your eyes oh to my. look at it. And. You just hear what sounds like this sort of weird, garbled, messed up scream. This light is now just filling this room. It's all you can see. It's blinded. As you just hear this scream, and then there's silence and nothing. We move back to Los Angeles, <clears throat> where, uh, Jake, you're sitting on the floor, right? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. And you're uh, you're just like having a drink. I'm just opening up that bottle of Jose Cuervo that was indebted <laughs> in, embedded in Max's head. Oh, Got Max. it. At some point, and half of um, the actor whose name I cannot recall. Charlie. Charlie. Yeah, Charlie. I'm such shock. He just got cut in lights by <laughs> light equipment. <laughs> DJ Bonds, you want some of this? What? I, I, yes, please. I, I walk over with my beer. I <laughs> want. Tequila you want it in my beer? In the beer? In this, yes, yes. Jose Cuervo and beer? You've never had like a shot of tequila and beer? Okay. <sighs> Pour it in there for. Her. So uh. the two of you are literally just like sitting and having a drink in front of what seems like the end of the world, basically. Uh, the tell sky is just still weird pinks and oranges. Tell me something no one knows about you. I feel like we're going to die, so you might as well just get some shit out of just. Why though? Why? Why would I tell you? Why don't you? T you tell me something. I would, I'm just gonna offer that information. I'm not just gonna do that. Okay, great. Um, I once was involved in a hit and run. I was the runner. <laughs> I hit a parked car. It was three in the morning. <laughs> one of those narrow streets. Yeah. I don't feel great about it. And that's why I'm telling you this now. What about you? It doesn't have to be a crime. Just a secret. Like, I don't know, have you told people before, like, you love peanut butter, but you hate it? It can be that simple. I, I... Sometimes I... I hate music. You're a DJ! <laughs> Sometimes I hate it. Sometimes I like... You talking about genre or all? Sometimes I like... Quiet. Yeah, that's good you got that off just before we die. <laughs> Alice, where are you in there? I'm going to back to the door that we came through to get into the club in the first place. I have to go back. I have to see if I go back, because I think if I go back, that it's just going to be the hallway with the Jason Voorhees, and, and then I'll be able to confirm my theory that we need five people, and if we have five people, then we'll be able to go back and go to the other door. Okay, so uh, you... Uh Head back to the, sort of the door that mm -hmm. led up to this loft where the mm -hmm. uh, where the actual party mm -hmm. uh, was. Uh, mm -hmm. You try to open it. Yes. You, okay, it opens uh, fine. It's the mm -hmm. the stairs leading mm -hmm. back down, just like you remember. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go down the stairs. Okay. Uh, so you are wandering down the stairs. Are you gonna let them know? Are you gonna say anything? Hey. What? Yeah. We're talking. We're we're talking about confessions. I'm going back. Where? to try that other door. I'm going to I'm going to see if I can go back if it's just me cuz I think that we need five people but everybody's dead except us three as far as I know. Where what where'd that crazy girl go? Mona. She ran away. We tried to stop her. All but right. That was before when when Max was still alive and he's dead now. Do you think that maybe if we got her and we took his corpse we could go back? 
Hey man, fuck it. You know why not? <laughs> let's bring him along, man. Uh, uh, let's try. Let's try going back first. Let's go back and see if it's the the room with the paintings and the the creepy doll. But the doll was in here, and and the, the monster that was in the ceiling. Sounds good. I hand her the Jose Cuervo bottle. <laughs> I throw it on the ground. <laughs> no! <laughs> What's you your problem, Alice? You don't need that. What? We're going to die. We need it now more than ever. You're going to more likely die if you're drunk. Man. I'm so mad right now. Are you coming or not? What? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Let's see what's through the third door. I chug the rest of my <laughs> So as you guys are sort of gathering and you're chugging, uh, you start to hear... Um, uh, something that's a little unusual for October mm-hmm. in Los Angeles, and uh, you guys are all native Los Angeles people, so even though there's literally a city floating in the clouds above you right now, it still strikes you as weird. Uh, you start to hear sort of the familiar thud of rain on a roof. It has started to rain outside, and as you uh, sort of head down the stairs, uh, we're going to move outside the building, down to the fire escape, uh, where Mona is. Am I on the? F- we're on ground level, are we? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. It's yeah. sort of, you know, it was like a third floor yeah. of uh, the warehouse. Everyone sort of like came down, and now there's just, uh, just sort of groups of panicked people, just sort of in shock, staring at the sky. Mm-hmm. Uh, you hear some people sort of arguing about like, um, should we? Uh, wait for the police to arrive. Uh, is anyone going to come get us? Where should we go? What's what the state of What's do? the state of my food truck right now? <laughs> I don't know, man. You're gonna have to go find out. Oh man, oh, I thought they were near it. <laughs> so you're sort of just standing on your own as uh, uh, as a city appears a, in the sky. There's a, there's a drop at first. Yes, basically, uh, this there's what looks to be um, uh, as weird as it sounds to say out loud an upside down city. Uh, in the clouds, and as you are sort of staring at this thing, uh, it begins to rain. Rain in October? I'd say this is the weirdest thing I've seen today, but I can't exactly confirm that. Is there anything, is it just garden variety rain? Is it? Okay, yeah. Uh, Since you are paying attention uh, to the rain, I won't I'm make you roll it's not a weird. acid or anything like that. No, no, no. Okay. It's not burning or it's not anything rain like that. Fire. It's not. Uh, but as you sort of like look up, and it, it does, uh, uh, you are briefly startled uh, for a moment because it it does start to sting your eyes uh. actually. But after uh. a moment, you realize uh, it's not because it's a weird liquid. It's not because it's acid. It's because it's salt water. Uh. <laughs> that familiar sort of dry taste of salt starts to hit your lips. Yeah, it's like when I did that one scene in Afterglow in the ocean. That's the one. Yes. Okay. Um, I cover my eyes. Are people fleeing? Are the Some people okay. are, you know, sort of doing the reasonable thing and just trying to find places to stand to get out of the rain. I whether just grab it's the nearest person or... next to me. Okay. And I point to the city in the sky. Huh? And I'm like, you, you're seeing that too, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what, what the, what the, uh, uh, Were you out here the whole time? My phone's not working. <laughs> trying to call him there's Uber. just this yeah. there's just this sort of like small framed guy uh he's he's wearing a very like he, you can tell he went for the tight polo look but it was like it's like too small it's too small mm-hmm. oh he did his best yeah, and um okay. uh he's sort of like his hair's uh is it like bleach pink blonde too? yeah yeah it's like a pale pink polo because alliteration's fun and he's just sort of standing and just lost and just looks to be in shock hey Hey, I think I could do one of these. What? Hi, what? Hi! Do I, I, you're, I know you. Yeah, 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 I know. Uh, um, you're in the movie. Thank you. Um, were you outside when this appeared? When what? That! Point to the city. And he just, this guy's gone. <laughs> he just sort of like looks up at it and it's just like, I was at the party. And? And... And then everything blew up. Yeah, I know that. It's raining. Yeah, it's, um, uh, you said your phone's not working, right? Here, I'll get, I'll get us right out of here. And I open up my phone uh, and I attempt to hail a lift. Uh, 
it, it, it's on, but uh, you don't have any service or anything like that. Uh, Lyft just sort of sits, and there's like a disconnection The Apocalypse error will do that. Or uh, whatever <laughs> our... Which is AT&T. Whatever, yeah. our, <laughs> whatever <laughs> our non-specific version of Lyft should be. Cause mm. I <laughs> <laughs> it's trademark. <laughs> just in <laughs> case. <laughs> just in case. It's called um, Ride with a Y. <laughs> and as you're sort of checking your phone, uh, uh, sort of off in the near distance, you hear um, just this smash into one of the buildings and you feel it like you feel the vibrations in the street uh, as if something uh, big and something fast just collided uh, with a nearby building Um, can I see what it is it hit sort of in a building that there's a there's like an abandoned building and then there's what you can assume is another abandoned mm-hmm. building behind there. So it didn't hit the building that we're, downtown. we're mm-hmm. in right now. No. It, okay. No. Um, but as you're sort of watching, uh, you do, out of the corner of your eye, catch something just falls out of the sky. It's something big. It's something fast. And in the building sort of on your side of the street, uh, next door to the warehouse, there was um, like... Uh, like one of those independently owned pharmacies that's now closed, um, that's just been like that for God knows how long, uh, mm-hmm. had been in there with like a bodega. And just the whole thing vanishes under just dust and smoke. And there's just this massive impact sound as this thing falls and connects. And as the second closer one uh, falls, everyone starts to scream, everyone starts to panic. Okay. Um, uh, homeboy is just gone, right? He's spaced out, not yeah. really paying In fact, to at anything. this point, he has seen, like, something has fun, whatever, this has just, like, clicked, and that guy's just like, ah! And just yeah. has, like, taken off with cool. a group of people. Um, <clears throat> then, fuck it, I'm gonna scatter, too. Okay. Um... Which way are you running? Sort of towards where the thing oh fell no. away? <laughs> I'm going to run towards it. I no. just got to ask. Yeah. No, I gotta I'm going to try to put some distance in between myself and the thing. Okay, so you uh, you take off running, and as you are running down the street, you're starting to hear more just... <laughs> as just more of whatever uh, this debris or something is is starting to fall um, out of the sky and just smack uh, into buildings. Uh, there's not a lot of like human reaction that you hear because again, it's it's downtown. It's quiet. Every it's Halloween. Everyone was in West Hollywood. If West Hollywood is even, even still thing there, um, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> so as you are as you're running, um, you, just more and more of these things are starting to fall. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, I'm. As I'm running, I'm looking around me to see if the debris that has fallen is merely just debris. They're not like aliens that have fallen out of the sky. Like something else to keep an eye out. Okay, go yeah. ahead and roll for me your uh, your spot hidden. Spot please. hidden. <laughs> Do you have any rerolls? We have. Just preemptively asking that. Uh, one reroll. Oh. Okay. Well, <laughs> uh, see how this goes. Uh, I'm gonna take that Do reroll. It. I'm gonna take it. Oh, oh, hit it okay. Very good. oh, no, that was even worse. So I don't see anything. Okay, <laughs> so you're sort of kind of cranny. You're trying to watch these things as they fall. And um, you can't really tell what they are. They don't look familiar. It doesn't look like... What you can tell is it doesn't look like pieces of plane or, or something like that. It, do they just... You can't really identify or place what they are. They're just sort of the best you're able to do. Numerous and coming in hot. Yes, yes. exactly. Okay. Exactly. Um, so are you kind of continuing to truck? Yep. Okay. Uh, so you're ba- you're just running down uh, the street. There's a few cars, you know, uh, around. You're starting to hear more and more car alarms starting to go off as just like these impacts are starting to cause the cars to shake. Mm-hmm. Um, and as you are running, uh, there is a large building to your right with multiple like garage doors uh, like sort of like loading bays mm-hmm. and as you are sort of running just down in the middle of the street just 
about maybe 25, 30 yards ahead of you. One of these things just like smacks down enough that like the the shockwave of it actually kind of like sends you back to stumble <laughs> a little bit. As just sort of all this smoke, as uh, just sort of like dust and dirt, uh, just sort of kick up in the air, just obscuring your vision. Um. Okay, I fight through that and I head towards the building to my right, the one with the three loading bays. Okay. Uh, so you uh, take off running. Two yep. of the garage doors are closed. One of them's like half open. Mm -hmm. I go for the one that is the most open. There you go. And if it's uh, half, then it's half. Okay. So you sort of run uh, uh, full speed into this room. You duck down and sort of find uh, some cover. And as you run into this, this building, it's dark. There's some light coming in from the windows and stuff like that. So you're not like completely blind, but it is you're sort of like looking around to see as your eyes are adjusting. And as you run in, you run smack into something. Okay. I take a step back and I try to reassess what it is I just ran into. Okay, you are uh, um, looking at uh, 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 a, a woman who is sitting on the ground because you just bowled her over. <laughs> uh, Sorry. Dorothy, a <coughs> random strange woman just ran into uh, you <coughs> and now you're on the ground. Oh, uh, so, uh, sorry, sorry. Excuse me, pardon me. Hey, um, uh, is this... You dropped your, your wallet. Uh, thanks. You... You seem... A oh, uh, nice Halloween costume. Uh, um... Pardon me? It's... Halloween. Sorry, it's just I'm just... Trying to act like... Uh, trying to regain some sense of normalcy, considering that I gesture to the outside. A what? Do you not know what's going on here? Pardon me, I'm, I'm just trying to get back to the track. The track? Uh, yeah, the, the track. Oh, I'm, I'm like, for as far as I know, you Look, know, Fairfax is all just destroyed at this point. Fairfax? Uh, you you want to bet on Fairfax? Uh, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, are you? Can I see if she's on something right now? Sure. Um... <laughs> Let's That's my first thought. Hmm. What should we roll? Um, go ahead and roll your uh, sobriety medicine. <laughs> go, and roll your, go and roll your psychology. Psychology? Uh, That's pretty good. Psychology, good. psychology. Where is that psychology? Oh, it's about as good as my spot hidden. Ooh. Oh, I barely <laughs> fail it. Oh. oh. Okay. So you're kind of looking at this lady. You can't get a real good read on her. She doesn't seem... High, but she also doesn't seem not high. Okay. You can't get a, like a super good read uh, uh, on this woman. Sure, wasn't raining a minute ago. No. Uh, yeah, I know it's weird too. It's October in LA. Um, <laughs> sure. Do you know what's going on? As you two are there? sort of staring at each other and figuring things out. Oh, and I'm dressed as Catwoman, by the way, so it's not like I'm normal. <laughs> <laughs> what a fun outfit! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, I borrowed it from the studio, so. Studio head's always breathing down your neck. Yes. So I hear from some of my friends. I've got friends in the pictures. Oh. oh okay, are you, I mean, <laughs> it's, I know it's, wow, you're really committing to that costume, aren't you? Um, no, do you know, have you been here all, all night? From further into the building, uh, you just hear something metal, maybe a pole, something just sort of like clangs onto the floor in the distance and sort of echoes from inside through. the <coughs> yes from garage. Inside the garage. Are you alone here? Oh, I, I wasn't a few minutes ago. In fact, there were many people. Jimmy's on Jimmy's on. What's the other guy's name? <laughs> uh, Phil. <laughs> on Phil's on Phil's, and then just me, Dorothy Wilson. <laughs> Is there any it way? It was you a real eyes wide shut party. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's on Jimmy's on Jimmy's. <laughs> Is there any way you can point me towards the Santa Anita racetrack? I oh, you are at least 15 miles away from the Santa Anita racetrack. How did I get here? Why were you going shopping at this time of year? I wasn't going shopping. I work at the tracks. I'm a working woman. I, I know it's you modern. You By yourself, you do know that the racetrack closed down, right? What year is this? 2019. No. No, no, no. It can't be. It can't be 2019. That's that's almost 100 years from... There's a second clang, sort of similar, but closer. 
Jimmy? Phil? Do you hear that? And as the two of you sort of stop and listen, you just start to hear this, uh, what almost, well, uh, let's have both of you huh. roll your listen skill. Listen. Emma, could you yeah. help her out? Listen! Roll Why am skill. I rolling the, just shit? roll those dice. <laughs> listen, my listen's not very high. I just want to figure out what you're hearing. Okay. And what is your listen? Skill. Mm. Listen, do you have any rerolls? So you we failed. don't have any rerolls. Okay, I well, failed. I failed. Okay. Okay. It wasn't a bad <laughs> fail, but you did fail. So, <laughs> not a win. Okay. Um, uh, so you hear this second clang, and um, you hear sort of sort of close by, uh, the as you sort of both pause uh, for that moment, uh, the best you can make out is that there's some kind of breathing you in said. this room with you. Is this one of the Jimmies? Look, I'm, I'm trying to get my own bearings. I couldn't tell you. Um, Hello? Is, is there anything around me that I could use to potentially bludgeon something? Sure. Let's, let's find out. Okay. Let's roll your spot hidden. Ah, damn it. Oh, no, you're <laughs> crazy. <laughs> I saved your life last week. Mm. That's true. <laughs> it is. Ooh, that's, that's, uh... What is this? I mean, either way... No, I just fail it. Oh my I god. <laughs> oh, <laughs> What'd you roll? Uh, is this a 26 or 29? That's a 9. Yeah, 29. Spot hidden is 25. Oh, uh, okay. Um, ooh, 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 Either way, it would have failed, but this feels slightly Yeah, it feels better yeah. when you don't fail as badly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I, I, t I try to take it into account, too. Uh, so you're sort of looking around, uh, and there's lots of um, just. As you're sort of actually starting to look at this place, there's lots of stacks of like shipping containers uh, and things like that, uh, stacks of crates. And close to you, there are uh, several open crates. Okay. And uh, they are filled with what look like um, Coke bottles, glass Coke bottles. Okay. I'm going to grab one. Okay. <laughs> So you are now armed with your glass Coke bottle? Yes. <laughs> All right. Mexican Coke or regular? Yeah. <laughs> well, they're glass, and they're made with real sugar. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I do that. I do that, and I do the thing where I smash it against <laughs> a hard surface. Okay, so you sort of do your best to smash this thing, and it's like a small Coke bottle. So It's enough. This woman has sort of taken this this bottle and sort of smashed it. Now she just has this like sort of jagged <laughs> little bit. Yeah. Of, uh, of glass. <laughs> I don't feel very safe in her hands. <laughs> As this breathing sort of starts to draw closer to you guys, and it just it sounds ragged. It, it, it's, it sounds like uh, uh, almost the breathing of, of like an injured animal. Got it. Unless um, you're convinced that's one of your jimmies, you might want to take a couple of steps back. And I, as I'm saying that, I'm backing towards the entrance where I came in. I have a love of horses and I'm nervous. It's an injured horse. So I want to investigate further. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, Good okay. Good so Dorothy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing? I'm going forward towards it. Okay, you're going towards <laughs> the noise? Okay, great. Uh, so Dorothy, you sort of like <clears throat> step away from Mona who's backing up uh, I see glass. her doing that. Does she? Do you act actively say I have a love of horses, or do yeah. you act, like, audibly <laughs> say that? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I have a love of horses. Then I'm leaving. <laughs> so as this, uh, as she's leaving, yeah. Uh, so you're backing away as this, as um, as this girl, uh, as this bizarre woman you've just met, just sort of starts to move forward uh, into the darkness. Uh, Dorothy, you're sort of navigating your way through these uh, these rows of shipping containers as you're sort of trying to get closer and closer to the source of, uh, of this breathing of this injured horse. <laughs> Hello? Because <laughs> <laughs> the horse is going to yeah. respond. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and there's <laughs> sort of something, uh, you know, unnerving about the silence. You you work with a lot of animals at the track, but there's sort of something weird and different about this. There was a lady in like a weird leather suit that you just talked to who told you that, and uh, now that you're sort of like alone uh, with your thoughts a little bit, um, 
it sort of triggers a flashback to a negative or oh. traumatic experience in your life. It was, it was one of the first times I was ever allowed to, uh, to saddle a horse myself. It's a big day for me. All the, all the boys had always considered me the younger one, just because I was small. I was older than all of them. <laughs> so I, I went in on my own, and it was a Mustang. Untrainable, they called it. So I had my sugar cubes in my pocket. I went closer, and I stuck one foot in the stirrup. And as I, as I swung my other foot over, two of the little boys in the town came forward and scared the horse, and I was bucked off into, into the deck. All right. My back never worked quite the same again. And would you please roll um, <laughs> a 1d6? That's, so just roll that. <laughs> Two. Okay. Uh, so, uh, will you show her where to mark? She's lost. Yeah, so your sanity. Two sanity points. Is here. And How did that happen? Start. Because chat deemed it so. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> your starting sanity is 45. <laughs> So, so you lost a pocket, pocket so full of sugar cubes. Yeah. <laughs> so Dorothy I as didn't start with that same again. <laughs> Good. Not that that, that I was older than all of them. Uh, so Dorothy, as you're, you sort of turn left to this corner, you can see the wall <laughs> of the building ahead of you, uh, and in between uh, these two rows of uh, of shipping containers, um, there's something sort of crumpled on the ground in front of you. It's the source of the breathing. Uh, you can hear its breathing. It's it's jagged. It's struggling. Uh, it doesn't seem like a horse, <laughs> but it does seem like it might be some kind of animal. I look around. See if anyone else is here. Hello? Uh, the only person who was around was this weird lady. I'm gone. But as you say hello out loud, the breathing stops. I go closer. Okay. Um, whatever this is ahead, it hasn't moved. It hasn't responded. I need to find someone. Someone out of here. Or I'm not trapped. I need to find someone and bring them to it. Okay, so what are you doing? Running the other way. Okay, so uh, you <laughs> sort of start to back away from whatever this is, and you turn, and you just sort of take off running uh, in the same direction that you saw this lady running in, She's assumably. my best chance. Okay, so you sort of take <coughs> off running uh, <coughs> after her. We're going to cut back to <coughs> the three of you. Um, this is sort of happening concurrently with... Mona trying to get this weird dude to be even remotely helpful <laughs> uh, as the three of you uh, sort of start to move down these stairs. <laughs> Am I carrying Are Max? We, do, oh. we have, <laughs> do we have the corpse? <laughs> Did you want to carry this dead body down with you? Uh, not yes. Max, but yes, yes, I I Max. Oh, Max was, was Max. Max. Oh, yeah. Okay. Poor Max yeah. Medley. Um, poor dead Max Medley. Uh, okay. You d okay, so you do definitely want to carry a body down the stairs with you. Mm -hmm. uh, will you please <laughs> uh, roll a check against your strength? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> You're a pretty swarthy Ooh. guy. Oh, yeah. Oh. Pretty swarthy. Oh, hell yeah. Are there any rerolls just in case? <laughs> we have one reroll. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's Don't good. Don't need it. Don't need 21. Em. Super successful. <laughs> okay, so you have man you, before you went down the stairs, you managed to, like, hoist this... <laughs> This dead oh body God, oh into, into like a fireman's carry. Basically. <laughs> uh, he's a heavy dude. He worked out. You know, he took good care of himself. Uh, so you, Max, you piece of crap. And now he's just dead weight. Uh, <laughs> so you are sort of moving down these stairs sideways, kind of. As you balance a dead body. Pivot on her shoulders. <laughs> uh, you didn't really need. Alice, to bring I'm assuming in. you're leading the way. I am. Okay. 
What was that? I said you didn't really need to bring him, because I think there has to be all five of us. And He's one of the five. Let's test this theory. The other girl's not here. She ran away. Well, then what are we doing? Why didn't you tell him before he put the the dead body on his back? It's leaking. I didn't know he was going to take the dead body. (laughs) You know how hard this was to lift? Put him down. We'll need him. Because if we go back and we're just in a regular hallway and we're able to walk straight out of the building and go back to your food truck with no problems, then we know that we need all five of us to go to the other timeline. Okay, hold on a minute. I'm going to, right now, we need this guy? Not right now. Just put it down already, please. Uh, It's weird. I'll put him on the stairs. Can he tumble? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. uh, (laughs) Why? Why? Gently. Keaton, go and roll against your sanity. (laughs) I just a guy just threw a dead body down the <laughs> stairs. That's weird. I carpet bag him. <laughs> hey, that's a 10. Oh, oh dang. Okay, you succeed. Uh, <laughs> Why did you do that? I was, Gently. It was an accident. Who's, he had a beer. He had a bottle of Jose Cuervo in his head. You're worried about an open uh, casket funeral at the moment? Uh, it's just, As you guys are arguing, you hear uh, mm-hmm. off in the distance just this like thud of an impact uh, <laughs> somewhere nearby. Uh, in a building nearby, and you sort of feel uh, the building shake again. Not as intensely as the earthquakes uh, that preceded everything going to shit, but you hear this thud, and then after a moment, there's a second, and then a third. What is that? What, what's that? Mr. Jason Voorhees? I don't I don't think he would still be here, would well, he? Somebody said that there was a Jason in the hallway when you they f- were trying to come up where we saw the, the, the monster. They saw just like a regular guy in a mask with a machete. What are you hoping for? Are you hoping for Jason or are you hoping for, to find the room no, that we I found? No, I hope that we find the monster because then then we'll know that we can go back no matter what. But if we can't, then we need to go find two more people. It needs to be five people. When we went to the new timeline, the one that we were just in with the party, I got a message from my brother my brother who tried to kill me in the other timeline who was here, I got a message from him saying he couldn't come to the party, that he was sick. What are you talking about timelines? Walk well, me through this. Well, we were clearly in a different time or, or a like different... legitimately? Or a different reality. I think he, she watches too much TV. Okay, look, let's just go downstairs. We'll see if we see Jason Voorhees or that creature that uh, came from the shadows. Okay. Mr. Voorhees! Oh, he's not going to answer. That's the whole point of his character. <laughs> So what are you guys doing? I'm walking forward and I'm like l- keeping my eyes peeled, like looking out for a character to j- jump a out. Scare- <laughs> <laughs> That's what they call the them. <laughs> okay. Is there a character down there? <laughs> so, uh, so you're you've gone down the stairs. Yeah. Uh, to the door, to the door at the bottom mm-hmm. of the stairs. Yes. Okay. Stepping over Max. Uh, I Stepping over, over Max. Max. I pull out my Max. my mace just in case. Okay, uh, you have your mace out, uh, and as you sort of step, uh, you open the door mm-hmm. at the bottom of the steps, and uh, you step into uh, what looks like a room pretty similar to the one upstairs that you just left. It's just sort of more empty warehouse, except very dirty, uh, because this. this is not an area that was prepared uh, for the party. But it... So there's just lots of pieces not, of broken crap lying around. It's not around. the room with the hanging portraits that are covered, though. No. This isn't where we came from. What? Can this I wasn't like... here before? No, no. Because when we came through, it was like it was something that was under construction or something. There was there was more to it than there's just... No, there's no broken stuff. mirror. Off. I mean, could yeah. it be like a rotating room, haunted mansion kind of thing, maybe? Like, if we close the door and open it, do you think? It's worth a try. I'm going to close the door. Yep. <laughs> okay, so you close the do- So, Alice, you close the door. Mm-hmm. Um, and as you're sort of trying to work out all these weird mm-hmm. puzzles in your head and all these riddles and sort of trying to come uh, to a choice and a decision about what's going on, mm-hmm. I'm going to need you to roll against your sanity okay. for your new phobia of making decisions. <laughs> oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> Thank you, chat. Uh, 47, that's a success. Okay, uh, so <laughs> even you're very stressed out. Uh, your anxiety is sort of starting to, to pump as, you know, these two 
strangers kind of keep looking to you to lead the way, so you lose uh, one sanity point, mm -hmm. but you sort of take a moment and breathe through it, and <sighs> what are you doing? Closing the door, and we're going to open it again and see if it's right. That's a good theory. Well, I want to see if, like, we hear any kind of, like, movement yeah. or grinding yeah. or anything that would imply. Yeah, close the door, and I'll listen at the door. So you close the door, uh, and you sort of put your ear against it. You're listening, and there's just this long moment of relative silence and you hear the rain outside you hear the occasional person outside sort of yelling or crying out in fear uh, those sounds have almost become background noise at this point it's weird how quickly people adjust to things um, but as you're sort of listening against the door you hear that same sound that Wham! Except the door just like shakes and you actually get knocked back. Um, as one of those has landed, whatever it is, uh, it's very, very close to home. You actually see sort of just dust like push out and sort of fill the staircase where you guys are uh, from under that door. <coughs> open it, open it. I open the door. Okay, so you open the door. Same uh, warehouse room uh, that you saw before. Uh, except there is now a gaping, nasty hole uh, in the opposite wall of the warehouse. I want to go look at the wall and, hole. Well, uh, <laughs> as you're sort of looking at the wall hole, your eyes train down, and there is just this massive just thing now lying on the ground. The floor is, The concrete floor is cracked all around. It definitely wasn't there. Uh, a moment ago, it is assumedly whatever it was that just made that impact. Uh, the dust uh, is settling around it. We have to go back. What did that? <clears throat> I don't know. It's like, uh, can we see what the it was? It looks yeah. like a like. I want to see the impact marks? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It's 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 real big. It's probably the size of this table. Is it like uh, a meteorite kind yeah, of situation? Like yeah, that's kind of the first thing you uh, you sort of you sort of uh, that crosses mm -hmm. your mind is that it's kind of meteorish. It's, it's Armageddon. It has to be. But cool. Well, we that's, got it. That's that's great. Oh, no, no. I need to call my dad. I mean, you can. You have a phone. You probably don't have any cell phone service. I want to try to call one of my dads. So you check your phone, uh, and it's just like Mona's. There's no service. Okay. What do you want? Do you want to tell him? I love both of them. Oh, two. There's two dads. Yes, I have two dads. Oh, that's cool. It's not cool. It's just is. Okay, I'm not trying to. Okay. Let's. <laughs> What well, you, you can't call him anyway, okay? So, <laughs> what are you guys doing? I think we can fix this. I think that if we find the girl, the other girl, the the actor one. Oh man. I think if we find her, and we bring her back, maybe her and another person, or maybe her and we get. She, we're Max's not gonna body find her. Stairwell. We have to. She's gone. She's we out there with to all try. She's probably dead. Something probably. That one of these things probably killed we're her. We're all gonna be dead if we don't Jake try to find her and the undo two of them this. Them are sort of yelling at each other. Uh, you're sort of staring at this thing that has crashed into um, the warehouse, and what you sort of thought was rock and meteor is now almost starting to pulsate. Hey, 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 that, uh, uh, the, 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 what? The, 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 the rock, the rock thing's breathing or moving or something. Run. Uh, I take off back up the stairs. Okay, you're running back up the yeah. stairs. You said you wanted to come down here! <laughs> <laughs> I go running after her. Yeah, I go stumbling after them. Trip over Max. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, will all three of you make a dexterity roll, please? Yes. <laughs> Do we have any rerolls just in case? We have four, I think. Great. Yeah, Why'd you leave them in the way? <laughs> oh, I will take one. <laughs> okay. I'm taking one. You're using a reroll? Yes. Thank you. Now I've succeeded with a 45. Dexterity. Oh! Ooh, it succeeded. Whoa! Succeeded. Okay. 65. Let's see. That nice. is a 99. So you're probably. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> None of your limbs work after this. 
<laughs> you just immediately fall to the ground. Like, uh, <laughs> uh, th oh, 39. Right? Yes, okay, so I have 65. So cool. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you all passed? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was I didn't know that was that drunk and high. <laughs> <laughs> you just turn and... Just like <laughs> <laughs> right so the three of you uh, sort of turn uh, back up the stairs mm -hmm. uh, and bolt uh, back up the stairs mm -hmm. uh, to where you came from. The door up there is still wide open. Mm -hmm. You were the last one. Through. Are you closing the door behind you? I No, I didn't <laughs> close the door. I was just worried about trying to get over this body, and I was like, <laughs> 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 what the hell was that? What is it? I don't know, but it, 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 it was pulsating, so I, I thought maybe it was going to explode. You, you think it's like... <laughs> what? <laughs> You know, like a uh, like a bomb. What if it was like like little aliens and like alien eggs or something like that? Do you think it was that? I think I mean, whatever I it was, it wasn't good. The sky's on fire. There's a city in the sky. <laughs> I think it's alien. It has to be aliens. Yeah, right? it could be. Why not? Right? right? <laughs> something uh, at the bottom of the stairs where you came from Mess. growls. Fuck that! Keep running! <laughs> keep running! Oh! I slammed the door as yes. we make it up the okay. stairs. <laughs> Okay, so the the door at the top of the stairs yeah. in front of you. Okay, so you've closed the door. Uh, as you are, you sort of stop uh, for a minute. You've closed this door. What are you doing? You're trying to brace it. What, is there a lock on? on this door? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Uh, is there anything around that we can like shove in front of the door to create a barricade? <laughs> there was lighting equipment. All this shit. That oh fell. yeah, good idea. Yeah, there's yeah. all sorts. Of, I'm not gonna make you try to roll a spot <laughs> hit or something. There's like a guy tried to set up for like a fat party here. So yeah, there's get the DJ equipment. <laughs> there's, uh, there's DJ Careful. equipment. There, yeah, there's all sorts of stuff okay. lying around. I'll run over to the DJ equipment. Is there wheels? <laughs> On it? Is it on a cart? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, a, yeah, it's a whole first yeah. setup with like casters. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm, I'm carting this, this you damn thing. Okay. Steal stuff from no, no, stupid. I'm blocking he, the door. After he shoves the DJ cart in front of the door, um, it's on like caster wheels, right? I want to yes. try to remove the wheels. Oh, yeah, lock the lock wheels. The yeah, wheel. Lock yeah, the yeah, wheels. Lock oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, I didn't know. So as <laughs> Alice is starting to uh, lock the wheels, you're sort of holding this thing, and you hear what unmistakably sounds like the sound of um, like a kid when they're a really messy eater and chewing with their <laughs> mouth open and not using <laughs> utensils. I know. You that. just hear the sound mm -hmm. of like a, I don't know, like a, really obnoxious 11-year-old at medieval times with that Cornish hen. And you were worried about Max's body. <laughs> oh, God. God. Well, now it's going to be gone. We're not going to have it. Alice, will you please roll your mechanical? Yeah, your mechanical, mechanical repair. Mechanical repair. I don't really have any of that. <laughs> Turns out the door opens in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuck, I forgot. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, that is not a success. Okay. <laughs> My mechanical repair is 10. I'm not yeah. going to keep re-rolling. Okay, so <laughs> Good call. Yeah. You kind of continue to uh, to mess with mm -hmm. these mm -hmm. wheels. They're not quite locking. They're not quite doing what you want them to do. do you're a DJ. Do, 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 don't you know how to do this? I just kick them with my feet, like auto lock. Like <laughs> I try to just like, it's like this. <laughs> okay, uh, go ahead and roll your uh, mechanical repair, but uh, roll with roll twice. Take the best score. Cause okay. <laughs> You've done this before. Yeah, you're a yeah. DJ. Mechanical repair. You have a 40 in mechanical repair. Oh, okay. It's not too bad. Well, that's a 81. 81, so I get to roll twice. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, oh, that's oh. a six. You push out, so like, click, 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 click. <laughs> So yeah, you sort of like brush <laughs> Alice aside, <laughs> and you like, sort of like, uh, no. <laughs> I don't brush her aside, I push her. Yeah. <laughs> you shove this girl aside. <laughs> <laughs> shove this weird girl aside, and you, you like really quickly sort of like click um. all these wheels into place, and just, just as you do it, you just there's like this huge thud on the door uh, from the other side, uh, and you hear this just bizarre sort of sounding animalistic growl uh, from the other side of the door as something is just pushing uh, on the other side. Uh, Soul Cycle might have been right about getting out of here. Oh, we why, did we, why did we listen to Alice? She's 17. <laughs> <laughs> it was a decent theory. Uh, it still isn't proven to be not true. Okay, fine, but now is there another way out of here? We gotta go out the fire escape the way that everybody else went. Oh. oh. Fine. I walk over to 
go through the fire escape door to leave. Okay. Uh, you head out the door. The, mm -hmm. the two of you follow? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, the two of you, or the three of you sort of head out and uh, walk down uh, to the fire escape. Mm -hmm. At this point, the, the area is empty. Mm -hmm. Anyone who was sort of standing around, like, waiting for something to happen, mm -hmm. they're gone. Uh, there's no sign of Mona. Uh, there's no sign of anyone out here. It's just the three of you um, on your own. Are there, like, dumpsters at the back here? Yeah, so uh, you guys are, uh, we'll call it a, 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 an alley with quotations around it. There's sort of a, a little space on the side of the warehouse that juts out. Uh, there's a dumpster to the left and, like, some recycling bins mm -hmm. uh, to the right. You know, like, a little bit of an enclosed space, and then it just lets out into the street. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We got to try to find Mona. Where would she have gone? I don't know. She's probably trying to find Darla. What Darla. if Darla's dead? Are you guys again seeing how my truck is doing? No. We could use a vehicle. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, and we, gotta also go, we gotta go around into the front. Okay. Okay. Uh, so you guys are, uh, you guys move around <coughs> the sort of <coughs> side of the building. Um, what are you doing? Are you just kind of hauling ass? I think there's a bit of a haul ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moving yeah. quickly. Moving quickly. Okay, so yeah. you're sort of uh, moving quickly um, uh, across the side of the building. Uh, this isn't down like an alley or anything. There's just another mm -hmm. sort of street mm -hmm. uh, on the grid. You guys are sort of just running down the sidewalk. The rain is still uh, coming down. Oh, it's salty. What is this? It's like the ocean falling out of the sky. <laughs> uh, you get sort of around uh, to the front of the building. Uh, you do see... Your truck. <gasps> yes. We, we got to find uh, our, our spiritual guide. She would go there. She would f try to find her. Okay, cool. Let's go. We'll find my Is truck. her place downtown? Yes, yes. She has two places. I guess get my we wouldn't have to worry about any traffic anyway. I get my truck keys out. Go <laughs> open the door. Okay. Uh, as <laughs> you... We all get in the food truck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you... <laughs> there are worse places to <laughs> That's be. True. That's true. yeah. It's pretty... Yeah. Open the door. Uh, as soon as you open the door, uh, there's just this thud as this woman sort of falls out of the driver's seat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? What the? Homegirl trying to steal your truck. I don't have a co-worker. I do not <laughs> have a co-worker. <laughs> this... Bl blonde woman with sort of like a like a pixie cut. Uh, you re recognize her just very quickly, sort of vaguely from the party. Uh, just kind of like looks up at you and uh, locks eyes with you, opens her mouth and just sort of starts to gurgle. Uh, and that oh. is when you realize that she is just the top half of her. <gasps> oh, oh, sh oh, shit! Okay, Which stepping over. <laughs> Get into the truck and uh, close the door. Uh, <laughs> and I look around in the back uh, of the truck to see if there's fucking legs. Where's the rest oh. of her? Step into the truck. So you, you just sat down and you closed the door? Yeah, I closed the are door. Are we just... still outside? <laughs> no, I think we're in there. Are we? Yeah, we yeah you guys jumped. I think you jumped in the in back. The back uh, yeah. I, I open. Up are there legs the, back there? I don't, I don't see any. Where's the whiskey? Where's the whiskey? You you're said opening, you had. You're yeah. opening the back of the truck? I'm, yeah, I'm in there. I'm looking we're for, for okay. whiskey. You open yeah. the door uh, and you <laughs> sort of like open the door to the truck. Uh, you do see legs. <laughs> uh, and they. You also see a thing. Uh, this weird, almost humanoid shape that's just these dark greens and blacks <gasps> that almost looks like it's made out of uh, tar almost just pulls itself up to a sitting position from its meal and just turns and locks eyes on you. Uh, Alice, Alice, uh, I can't stop staring at it. Alice, please, I, please. I, I try to grab her. And Both of you roll against your sanity, okay. please. I really should have had you do that too when a half a person. Yeah, go ahead. And <laughs> yeah. I'm very calm about this. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's a four, Whoa, baby. That's nice. That's a 33. 33. And then 53 success. Yeah, we all succeed. Yeah. Oh, bitch. Everybody doing Zach rolls tonight. Okay. <laughs> Are you guys on the back of the truck yet? Uh, There's a thing here. Not exactly. And almost on cue, this thing just like lets out this blood curdling just scream <gasps> uh, that fills the truck. 
I'm gonna um, jump, like I'm I'm trying to like jump on top of Keaton, and then like shimmy us both to hide underneath the truck. I'm gonna slam the little door that would be like in between the driver section. Okay, like, so yeah, you've now seen this thing. <laughs> uh, okay, so. Uh, um, Alice, will you please roll um, your uh, strength? I'm gonna make this, sure. I'm gonna make this Fortunately, picture. I'm not very strong, but uh, you know. You got this. Uh, do we have any rerolls? I think we have. Oh yeah, we have uh, quite a few. We oh, have nine. Great. Nice. Let's use those. Let's babies. go. <laughs> nope. I'm gonna use another one. Ooh. I'm gonna be Matt now. <laughs> 41. All right, I'm going to do one more. Nope. Just can't get below 40 something. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Alice, you do your, you're do you not you're not a, a, a particularly strong woman. No. You're not particularly big. You sort of try to drag Keaton down. Keaton, it doesn't come quite on. work. You just sort of have this dead weight of uh, Alice sort of dragging against your arm. Keaton. Uh, as that happens, um, Jake, will you. Uh, Go ahead and roll a dexterity uh, check for me. All right. I'm just going to see if you're quick enough to turn this door. <laughs> oh, boy. Do we have any rerolls or they use them? We do. Oh, oh, I yeah. used four, I think. <laughs> oh, we had eight. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Use that four for sure. Some bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it was worse. Yes, use it. Do it use again. It do it again. It I believe. I believe. Okay. Okay. You're good. Fail. Oh, never mind. Oh, I was looking at your uh, wrong stat. Close to my, so my dex is 45. I got 51. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> here's how this here's how this works. Scary. You. Uh, the other one was 98. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, my God. Jake, as this half a woman sort of tumbles out of the driver's seat, you sit down and just your, your hands go over your head for a minute as you're just sort of trying to process what mm. in the fuck you just saw. Um, uh, and this is sort of how this happens. You hear Alice... Yelp, you hear a weird scream that's not from this earth. You look up into the rear view mirror and just this red eyed thing oh. just like looks up at the rear view ahead of you. And as it lunges forward, you s try to slam this door uh, between you and the rest of the truck shut. Uh, but this just hand, this with these, these gnarled uh, claws, this six fingered hand just like reaches out. Uh, and grabs against the other side of the door, just like grabbing for you as you're trying to struggle no, no, uh, no, with this truck no, door. No, 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 no. We're going to cut back <laughs> to uh, Mona. Mm -hmm. I'm out of the warehouse. Okay, so you left. You left the warehouse. Yep. Uh, you are. I'm taking off again. Okay, you are running down the street, mm -hmm. uh, and with my coat what's, shank. What seems like maybe like a. A minute or so into you running, you hear uh, uh, a familiar voice. Uh, the woman you ran into uh, in the warehouse uh, is a little ways behind you, just sort of like frantically yelling and, and waving her arms, trying to catch up. Can I make out what she's saying? Sure. What's she yelling? Lady. Hey, Wh lady. What? And I'm still running. Lady, we've got troubles. Yeah, obviously. We're and not going to get through this sky. alone. Aww. We need to stick together. Great. Let's stick together. Slow you... down. No. Why? And wait for something to come and eat us? I'm slower. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's your problem. So as you're sort of like yelling, trying to catch up to this woman, um, uh, roll your uh, sp spot hidden skill for me. Okay. Your spot hidden is right there. So you want to roll lower than a 60. I just mine. Yep. Okay. That's good. Uh, that's an 80, so you can use a reroll because you're more likely to succeed than not can with I, a 60. Mm -hmm. Can I use a reroll? We, yep, we have some rerolls. That's worse. That's a 96. <laughs> <laughs> can I use another? You sure can. Okay. We have a few more left. Another. Yeah. Use another. Thank you. For 50, 50. That's it. Okay. 50. Okay, you succeed. Okay. Uh, so, uh, as you are sort of doing your best to book and catch up. Um, as you run past this alley, you're sort of closing uh, on Mona now. And as you sort of pass this alley, just out of the corner of your eye, uh, you see the damnedest thing. You see a horse <laughs> just in the alley, just standing there. 
Oh, in the middle it? of Los Angeles. Is it injured? I don't know. Do you keep running? You're going to go check it out? It's my weakness. <laughs> Might be good to have something to ride. I go towards it. Okay, so you sort of just <laughs> stop completely. Uh, you're in this weird alley. There's just a horse standing there. Hello? Saying hi to the horse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As the horse puts a cigarette out. <laughs> so. How are you doing? <laughs> have I seen the horse before? You have. Um, as you're sort of getting closer, at first you're kind of like, oh, those markings are similar. Huh. And as you're getting closer and closer to the horse, you're realizing that those markings aren't similar. They are the same uh, as oh, no. that Mustang. Oh, no. You first sort of tried to saddle no. uh, oh, when no, you were a kid. No. <laughs> you got some sugar cubes. <laughs> I look I look into its eyes. Okay. And I see what kind of vibe it's in right now. Okay. So you're sort of staring at this horse. The horse is staring <laughs> back at you. <clears throat> when as you're sort of staring at its eyes, you realize that its eyes are sort of getting bigger. Uh, not just like the pupils dilating, but the actual eye sockets around this horse uh, are actually sort of starting to pull back okay. and expand. Um, and these veins are sort of starting to pop out of its eyes as just these just eye whites just sort of start to push out of the side of this creature's head and its jaw starts to extend uh, longer and longer and this sort of like forked tongue just starts to roll out of it. I, r I run the other way. Good call. That's the vibe. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, so you take off running and you just hear this shriek uh, um, after you. Um, and as you take off, let's have you um, roll against, please, your... Actually, what is your uh, move rate? Emma, will you help her find her mm -hmm. move rate? Yeah, eight. Okay, it's an eight. Give me just a moment. I apologize. Where do we find that? Where it's she's? underneath power. Characteristics. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, got it. What's yours? Eight. Eight. What's your name? Oh, nine. Fancy. Oh, seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are slower. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drunk, okay? <laughs> drunk and I want cocaine. Okay, so you sort of... Uh, I think I'm fast, but I'm slow. <laughs> you, you take off uh, running, sort of continuing <laughs> back towards the direction uh, Mona was going in, okay. I guess. Um, uh, and as you, uh, as you take off running... Uh, uh, ahead of you, there are, you know, there's cars sort of parked, uh, parallel parked along the street. You're running up this sidewalk. Um, and as you are running, you sort of realize that ahead of you, there is a car that has sort of been knocked uh, to the right into the building. One of those things has fallen uh, out of the sky and into the ground, uh, into these cars, and it just sort of knocked into it. So there's a car sort of directly uh, in your path. Um, so you can choose to figure out a way around it. You can climb over it. Can I climb running. over it? Yeah. Uh, let's roll, please. I mean, you can if the dice work. Um, so let's roll your climb skill. Okay. Mm. We're rolling so much your weird climb. stuff that so we have never weird. rolled in this game before tonight. Uh, 20. Okay. So you have to roll lower than a 20. That's a 36. 36. Oh boy, oh boy. So okay. Oh boy. Yeah. We have three rerolls. <laughs> and as you are sort of trying to I feel bad taking scrabble it. your way sort of up the mm -hmm. side of this car, uh, it's your call whether you want to or one. not. Yeah, use one. Use one, use one more. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to use one more. This, I feel this one. That's a 98. <laughs> <laughs> Don't roll again. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's so much worse. <laughs> and a hold. You've never seen a car before. 
I mean, she has you run right into it. <laughs> she hasn't seen cars that look like this. Yeah, yeah. no, this yeah, is very true. true. It's a Tesla. This is very, very true. Uh, so you were sort of trying to like scramble uh, up, up, up and over uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 this car, which a is not like any kind of car mm -hmm. you've ever seen before, okay. and uh, you're you're smaller in stature. It's sort of hard for you to get over this thing. Plus, it's raining. It's wet. You're confused. You're out of breath. You're tired. And as you're sort of trying to work your way um, over. Uh, the uh, the top of this this vehicle, uh, something grabs a hold of your ankle, and Dorothy is yanked oh. back away from the car, and we are going to cut back to okay. the three of you uh -huh. on the street. Okay, uh, so the the thing is going yeah. after Jake, right? Mm -hmm. It was trying to get in. Yes. I want to. The three of you at the truck. Yeah, I want to turn on the um, flashlight on my phone okay. and see if I can get it, like if that, if it, it, if it uh, <laughs> responds to light. Okay, so this thing is sort of like screaming and, uh, and uh, uh, struggling to get through this door um, and hasn't really paid you guys a whole lot of mind yet. Um, so you are, okay, so you're sort of using your, your yeah. phone flashlight. I'm gonna make, hey. I gotta make your roll for it. Go ahead and roll your electronics. Electronics, cool, 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 cool. cool. That is a success. 41. My nice. electronics is 65, Ooh, baby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my electronics is yeah. shit. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same as mine. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so uh, hey. you succeed. Um, you, you sort of hit the flashlight uh, on your phone, and you're waving it at this thing. And it's bright enough sort of out of its peripheral vision uh, this thing sort of just turns as it's still sort of trying to push mm -hmm. uh, its arm to open this door. It just sort of pushes and looks towards you and uh, lets out this just scream and this like flex of saliva are like <laughs> flying out of the van and hitting you guys okay. in the face. I want to mace it. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Amazing. <laughs> <Turn faces. laughs> Creep. <laughs> Okay. Um, <laughs> Roll your mace? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what would that be? I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to have you roll firearms? Firearms? <laughs> uh, handgun or rifles? Yeah. That's a mace. <laughs> Damn. Hand handgun. Yeah. Handgun. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> What if it's a really big Like a t shirt cannon? Yeah, this is like <laughs> she got a shirt cannon from She got her in Costco. <laughs> <laughs> um, that is a 30. Uh, your firearms are 25. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. Risk it for the biscuit. <laughs> Um, 83. Ah, Shit. damn it. All right, well. How come all of our second rolls I know, are really okay, so failed. Okay, so you, like, unload mm. mace, and it's, <laughs> you're just a little too far away. Okay. And sort of the mace cloud sort of stops short. <laughs> does, of it, this thing. does it seem you like... You have gotten its attention, though. Does it seem like it's looking at the light on my phone, or is it paying attention to us? Now it's just looking at you guys. At us, darn it. Yeah. It's still in the back of the truck, though? Yes, uh, but now it has sort of stopped trying to fight the door so much and is now just sort of looking um, at the two of you. I'm going to start the truck and drive because <laughs> oh, the back doors are yeah. open. This thing might tumble oh, out. Yeah. Smart. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, sorry, repeat one more time. What I'm going to start the truck and drive as fast as I can, like really get a good start because yeah. if the back of this thing is open, kind of like being on a train, it might tumble out. Yeah. Okay, uh, roll your drive. I hope you have drive as a skill. <laughs> I know. Ooh, it ain't bad. <laughs> Ooh. Well, you should get to roll twice because it's your food truck, guy. Okay? <laughs> that is true. Oh, fuck. I'm re-rolling. Oh, yeah. How many more re-rolls do we have? Can he roll twice? We for have it? no chance. Come on, <laughs> man. We have two re-rolls. Okay. Three re-rolls. <sighs> I believe in you. Part of the cards, baby. Okay, okay. 13. Yeah, that's a super success. 13. Woo. So we have okay. one left right now. <laughs> So, and we could use some more guys. Please. Mm -hmm. uh, Thank you. Yeah, so um, the car um, uh, starts and the, the tires just peel out and like smoke sort of like kicks up as this truck just like lurches forward and you floor it. Um, the thing loses its balance 
and at first it's just kind of like hanging in the wind because its arm is still sort of like lodged <laughs> you know, sort of between this door, and it's just like. <laughs> um, I'm gonna just fuck it. <laughs> so as you sort as you sort of like turn the truck a little bit because you are driving directly towards the wall of the warehouse, and as the, you sort of turn, uh, the the door swings back. Uh, freeing the thing and it does it's, it falls out of the truck and just hits the sidewalk and rolls um, uh, but as it, it you know sort of rolls da, 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 and then it is just on its feet perched <laughs> staring at the two of you and it takes off sprinting <gasps> towards the two of you oh no I'm reversing <laughs> this motherfucker <laughs> we're gonna cut <laughs> we're gonna cut to Mona I'm still running okay you are <laughs> left her twice. <laughs> Mona, you are uh, running, sort of still just cranking down the street. You have now uh, lost this uh, woman, Dorothy, behind you. And you hear um, a voice, a woman, a woman's voice uh, from across the street. Yell, hey! I ignore it. Okay. You just keep uh, running past? Mm hmm. Okay. Where are you going? What are you doing? Um. <laughs> I'm looking around. I don't know why I'm doing this. Are there any bikes around? Are there any bikes? Yeah, like abandoned bicycles. Uh, roll your spot hidden. Okay. This is going to go really well. Mm. <laughs> Game of the night. Yeah. Do you have any rerolls? We have one. One. Do it. Do yeah, it. No, I'm gonna take it. I'm <laughs> gonna yeah. take it. And yeah. uh, give right. us more, babies. Give yeah. us more. We'll provide. We're fighting some sort of hell spawn right now. But yeah. <laughs> but bikes are really important. No. 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 Nope. No, it's because I was a soul cycle instructor. Yeah. Oh, I knew what I know. <laughs> Okay. So now that failed. Nope. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So um, there are none. As you sort of stop to sort of get your bearings, you're looking for uh, a bicycle, a skateboard, <laughs> anything. Um, a razor scooter. You're not really seeing anything. As you're sort of no stopped uh, looking around, you hear that same voice just shout out, Hey, over here. I stop for a moment, and I look in the direction the voice is coming from. Okay. Uh, you but see I don't go any closer. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, across the street, there is a... Uh, you don't see anything at first, and then you realize uh, there is a woman um, uh, sort of right behind. There's a storefront, and the gate is down. Okay. Sort of in front of the storefront. The gate's about halfway halfway up, and you see on the other side of the gate, uh, you see a woman uh, who looks like she's in a red blazer. Okay. And she just waves and just like f is just frantically waving you over like, hey, go over there. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> the last time that happened, I nearly there was a monster in the room. So <laughs> <laughs> she seems a little befuddled <laughs> uh, at first, and it's just like because there's. Things out there. Yes, we all know that, and there are things in buildings too. Oh Jesus! And this, uh, this, uh, this woman in the red blazer, she sort of just like goes back into. The, uh, it, it looks like you know some kind of just like convenience corner store, and just shuts the door, and you sort of hear the jingle okay. of the uh, of the chimes. Have a nice day, and I take off again. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so. Um, uh, Mona is just sort of continuing to truck, uh, and as she continues to, to run uh, further down the street, uh, we're going to cut back to Dorothy, who uh, is being dragged uh, by this thing. It's um, it has sort of two massive hind legs. Its body is just sort of weird and leathery, but but wet. It almost if um, <laughs> almost if you took this, you know, in a science book where like uh, 
It'll be like, here's a horse, and here's what a horse's muscle system looks yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like that. It looks like something that has no skin, oh. and you just see its muscle system, and oh. this thing uh, has your leg uh, 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 by the ankle uh, with one of its front arms, and so it's moving slow because it's given up sort of one of its legs, but it is just like dragging you down uh, the alley where it came from. I try and let it take my shoe. Okay, cool. Uh, so you're sort of struggling with this thing. Um, go ahead and roll <coughs> your... Let's roll against your dexterity. <coughs> All right, so your dexterity is good. It's 85, so you just need to roll lower than 85. Okay. That's a 95. <laughs> 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 That's amazing. Listen, it's real easy. Your score's 90. Get below. Are there any rerolls? Oh, boy. There's <laughs> one reroll. Do it, do it. Do it. Do it. Use it. Your chances of succeeding it's, are good. It's also about anything better lose than that, Lose that shoe, girl. That's a 93. <gasps> <laughs> you don't get to use those dice no more. <laughs> what happened? You should roll. So this thing is... <laughs> This thing is just dragging you, and you're uh, you're struggling uh, to sort of get. At first, you were sort of trying to be subtle, like, "Hey, maybe it won't notice you," and you're starting to panic more and more as you can't get your foot um, out of your boot to the point that this thing has now noticed that you are sort of struggling to sort of get away, <laughs> and that its head sort of turns, and those crazy, huge, bulging eyes are back on you. Um, it lets go just long enough to turn and just pin you um, down. This like clawed hand just sort of like pushes down against your chest and this thing just like lowers its jaws um, and its mouth opens just just this nasty smell of like rotting flesh as this these like weird sharp broken needle like teeth are just expanding towards you I s try and scream to scare it away okay I got uh, a good scream you uh, you scream um, you give it a hell of a scream. Uh, and this thing, it sort of like pushes back uh, just a little bit, sort of almost in curiosity, but then just leans forward and that mouth opens again and it just roars back in response, leaving your <laughs> ears ringing. <laughs> Blowing your hair back. <laughs> I, I, I try to nurture it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Expand on this idea. Hey, I think maybe if I befriend it and am kind to it, okay, it will you, let me go. What are, you, what, are you, what are you trying to do? Roll listen. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know exactly what you're trying to do. I, I smile and reach my hand out okay. to try and touch its like chin, scratch <laughs> under its chin, because okay. I like that. So uh, there's this... <laughs> This thing is screaming, your, your heart is racing, you're panicking, uh, you're, you almost start to feel tears sort of welling up in your eyes as your body is just sort of like releasing all of this stress and anxiety. And, but despite this, you're sort of like trying to struggle to just like smile at this thing. For some reason, you've always fallen back on charm and personality. It's always been your weapon. It's true. And you're just trying your damnedest to make it work in this case as well and as you are it almost seems like it's going to work and as your hand sort of touches this thing's chin uh just in this like instant you feel this like arc of pain down your arm is just these jaws lock oh, no. onto your wrist Ouch! <laughs> and just as that happens a gunshot rings out and then a second and then a third as you feel the thing, this creature just sort of like reacting and shuddering and shifting as it lets go of your arm and looks up uh, back out towards the street and just gives this scream and you hear another shot and another shot that are just impacting with this thing's body and it runs, it takes off running, uh, leaving you alone in this alley uh, with a very freely ble uh, bleeding wrist. <laughs> I look around to see where the gunshots came from. Okay. Uh, roll your uh, spot hidden for me. It's 60. Okay. That's what you want to roll. Them. That is a 53! That's right! Great. <laughs> 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 Do you believe in miracles? <laughs> <laughs> so, 
Before you look around, I am going to ask you to uh, roll against your sanity because oh. this has triggered your new phobia of horses. Great. Oh, there oh you go. Gosh. Really, really ruined some memories for you today. Oh. oh, that's good. That's a two. Ooh. Oh, okay. Is so that two zeros, or is that a, or is that a nine? That's I can't tell. There aren't any. I know these dice are. We're going to get new ones. Uh, nine. Just nine. kidding. That's a 92. <laughs> oh, 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 that's a 92. Yeah, I thought okay. it was double zero. Yeah. Those dice are hard to so read. This, yeah. uh, 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 so this roll of fear sort of like shudders over your body. Um, uh, I need you to roll uh, just a 1d6. Yeah, so, so this guy, just a normal just dice. Just a regular dice. Like that guy right there. Ooh, that's a four. Okay, uh, so you lose four sanity points. Okay. Um, so you are really right. starting to yeah, panic. Perfect. Your heartbeat is is, is, <laughs> is, is picking up. Um, Thank you. You start to sort of feel your, like your body shake just invol involuntarily. You're really starting to lose it. This has been a bit of a day, <laughs> um, to say the least. But as you are looking around to sort of see where those shots came from, because at this point you're just sort of kicked into survival mode, um, you see uh, in, so you're in this alley, and you see movement in uh, one of the windows of the building directly across from you, sort of towards the direction of the street. Uh, there's this window uh, that is smashed out, and you see just sort of the glint of metal, the barrel of this rifle. And after a moment, uh, you hear a voice uh, from the inside that just says, are you alive? Uh, uh, barely. Are you now? Am I now? Are you now? I I'm here now. There's a moment, there's a pause. And you see sort of a leg swing over <laughs> the side of the building, and then another. Uh, and this older man uh, <coughs> uh, with a lot, just all this sort of gray streak through his thinning hair, a beard. Uh, the first thing you notice about him is that he just looks incredibly dirty. Uh, it looks like he's wearing several coats. Uh, <laughs> this sort of disheveled man uh, with just wide eyes, um, just wide, wild eyes, uh, walks towards you. He's just like, you're now. What do you know about what's happening to me? You're now. You okay? Barely. I'm, I'm bleeding pretty Brad on my wrist. <laughs> um, Brad, not Brad. He sort of sits next to you, uh, sort of weirdly calm for everything that's going on. Uh and it's just like, that doesn't look good, that doesn't look good, that doesn't look now, that doesn't look now. What and are you, what are you he saying now? takes your wrist and one moment. Let's see what he does. Oh boy. Oh, here Come we go. Come on. Casts a spell on it to repair it. <laughs> okay. He's a wizard. Uh, so. <laughs> Dirty homeless wizard. <laughs> so this, this, uh, this man, he sort of sits uh, cross leg. Uh, next to you. Um, clearly not a people person. Doesn't do anything to really try to comfort you or anything like that. Uh, <coughs> he reaches across your body uh, to your other arm and just starts to pull uh, the fabric of your coat sort of apart and off of your arm. Uh, doesn't really ask permission. Doesn't do anything and starts to wrap that uh across your arm. Well, before he does that, he takes a flask of just something. Uh, takes a swig, pours it uh. onto your arm. Uh, there's this huge burning sensation. You let out a scream, and as sort of that pain overtakes you, uh, we're going to cut back to the three oh. of you. <laughs> Put in the truck in reverse. <laughs> okay, you're putting I'm the truck in reverse. This motherfucker. <laughs> okay, uh, go ahead and roll your drive again, please. Woo! How many rerolls we got, just in case? Uh, two. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, 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 okay. Heart of the dice. Ooh! Ooh. 14. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's success. Okay. <laughs> cool. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, uh, you sort of like 
pivot the food truck in reverse and you just hear the sound of just everything ingredients, cooking utensils, like everything <laughs> in the back of the truck is just like falling ovens and shit. Yeah, yes. just ovens are going uh, sort of back <laughs> back and forth. Um, but you sort of uh, speed into this thing. Uh, and so uh, sort of from the two of y'all's perspective, this thing is looking at you. Uh, it's sort of perched, sort of ready to sprint. Uh, it gets up tall. It lets out this scream towards you, and in that moment, it realizes what's coming to its side. And just in a moment, like looks over, just and just this yes. food truck <laughs> smashes into the side of it, and just like s- fluid and oh. bits of whatever this thing is sort of go everywhere. It covering uh, sort of the back of the food truck. I'm going to park it, <laughs> get out of the car, go around and go, Booyah, bitch! <laughs> That's what's up! <laughs> okay, so you, you come out and uh, you say that. <laughs> and as you are yelling that, Mona, uh, as you are running, you hear <laughs> the familiar voice <laughs> of uh, food truck operator Jake Nash yelling, Booyah, bitch! That's what's up. <laughs> He's still alive? I say to myself. So um, as you're sort of saying that, you uh, if you sort of like look across the way, you realize you are back. Uh, I just ran at in, the a <laughs> yes. ran in a circle. In a circle, you see um, Alice, uh, you see Keaton, and you see Jake standing next to his truck and just a gross mess of something. Alice, Alice, Alice. huh? <gasps> it's her. All three of you are alive. Yeah. One, yeah, we're alive. Two, three. Where's Max? Oh, he died. All of us are alive. He, it, he, I, I don't know what happened. I, I tried to push him to run after you, but when I pushed him, there was a tequila bottle lodged in his head. What? It's, it's, it's raining seawater. They're a monster. That's not, definitely not the weirdest thing I've seen or heard or any of us seen or heard today. Um, yeah. what is that? What, 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 what is that? It's dead is what it is. As she points and gestures, um, you're sort of looking at this dead thing on the ground, Jake, and I need you to roll against your sanity for your new phobia of corpses. <laughs> <laughs> what a world! <laughs> he tried to rescue one earlier, and now. <gasps> oh. I'm re rolling. Is that our last one? Mm-mm. I think so, yes. This is our last re roll. <laughs> no bueno. No bueno on that one. No bueno on that one either! Oh, no! Fuck! All right, I'm 80 and I got an 85. Ooh. Okay. Uh, roll, Ouch. Damn. Roll your 1d6. Roll a 1d6. Six! Yes. All right. So as uh, Mona, you're sort of like approaching the group, sort of like... What the fuck mm-hmm. is Mo- all of this? Mona, did you see any any other people out here? Any anybody that was alive? Uh, there, there, there's a it's cranky old lady in a red blazer who just holed herself up in a convenience store, which is not the smartest thing in the world. Uh, there is some a lot of food there. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, what's but, wrong with you? Why did you leave by yourself? Jake is all and this stay is sort in of there with on. all the monsters. There, this thing was outside. There was only one monster. We only saw one monster inside. As all this you is going on, you saw one monster inside. You can only presume. You're looking at the body of this thing. You're looking over at the half a body of the woman on the ground. Oh boy. And you're looking at Mona. And all you know, you don't know what's going on, but you do know that you've been with these two this whole time. But you don't necessarily know if. This is Mona. Uh, if this is a f- thing in disguise, like whatever the shadow thing was, or whatever she was talking about with her brother. Oh yeah. Continue. Where were you? We running around the block, apparently. That seems pretty convenient as a story, because it's pretty fucking vague. What? Where, where, where get me? How do I know you're you? It doesn't. What? That's Mona. If you don't know that, her. That's People no know who I am at this point. That don't mean shit to me. How do I give me? What did you say to us? What did you say to us at the party? Tell us something that only we would know because we were with you. I was. I asked you. I looked at your menu and I said, "Is that andouille sausage, sausage with salsa verde?" And you said, "Yes," because that's your thing. Mexican slash Cajun fusion. 
Then you off you offered us whiskey horchatas and horchata. Why are you doing this? Why? Why? Like, she's. I don't she's, trust it. I don't trust that this crazy madness is going on. She's we, saying the right things, but you're still freaked out. You, this is not kosher with you, and sort of the stress of the situation uh, uh, triggers a traumatic flashback no, in you no. that uh, causes an additional bout of madness. You were oh. really pushing the gumbo tacos. <laughs> <Gross>. <laughs> What's? I wasn't always an only child. Oof. Oof. I had a younger brother. We went on a hike one day. It was getting dark and I said, we gotta go home. He didn't want to. He wanted to keep exploring. I said, okay, let's go. Let's see, what's, let's see what's further down. It was a hike near our house. At one point, I had to. I go to the bathroom. I said, "Stay on the trail. Stay on the trail." I come back from the trail, and he's gone. And there was no sign of him. Walking around at night, calling his name. I left the trail. I'm calling his name. I don't hear anything. What was his name? Peter. Okay. As I walk around, and they eventually had to come find me. They found me three days later. Cold, in the woods. There was never a sign of Peter. Roll one d six. Three. Okay, you lose an additional three sanity. Uh, this okay. has done nothing to help you feel like uh, Mona is part <laughs> of this group. <clears throat> what you used to? What'd you do? What was your job? What'd you used to do? What I used to do? I used to be a fitness instructor at Soul Cycle. I'm not convinced. We well, it, we came out to find her and we found her, but we still need one more person because I, I don't think that Max's corpse wait, is wait, very wait. much intact. Why do we need one more person? Because for what? we need five people. We to need five people so we can go back in <laughs> go that back hallway. In there? If we go back in that hallway, then we can go back into the in-between time and we can go to another timeline and we can fix this. I'm gonna climb in the back of the truck and just grab some food ingredients. <laughs> As you sort of climb into Eat the this. truck, Eat everything. Eat this human food. Everything sort of, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> everything sort of mess sausage with. Okay. in the back of the truck. And as you were just sort of shoving food at people, uh, you hear a gunshot <laughs> in the distance. <coughs> First one, then two, three, and then four. Close. I want to start walking in the direction that I heard the gunshots coming from because monsters don't have opposable thumbs as far as I can tell. I mean, we're in the warehouse <laughs> section of downtown LA. This isn't shocking. There, these, there, there's mob mentality. They're starting to shoot each it's other. It's a person. Okay. It's a person out there, though, and we need one more person. So, so Alice is sort of just taken off walking. The sound of the gunshots will find another person. Uh, Al Alice, don't wait. I'll, I'll go, I'll, come on, let's go. Yeah, let's go. I'm going to watch you eat that food. <laughs> if you're like a vampire, you'll vomit it. <laughs> Dolce, I won't because these Dolce de Leche beignets are really good. Yeah, they are. <laughs> I'm still trying to. Okay, so you guys are. We're sort walking. Of yeah, but I'm watching. Her. Am I following? <laughs> okay, so you are you are uh, bringing up the rain. You're following. Uh, you're following yeah, Mona. I'm, I'm trying to like follow behind her, like um, like she's a shield because I don't want to get shot. <laughs> okay, so you're right <laughs> no, behind no. Alice. No. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> um, Keaton, this is weird. Like everything in the show has been normal. Uh, Mona's behind you. She's dressed as Catwoman. <laughs> And Catwoman makes you think of Batman. <laughs> what? And <laughs> Batman makes you think of bats. Gross, weird, Aww. bats. I don't know why you've got a phobia of bats. I don't know what happened in your past that gave you a phobia of bats, but you do. <laughs> we roll against your sanity. You fell into a cave. Of bats. <laughs> At your parents' funeral, you fell into a cave. <laughs> <laughs> Some people become vigilantes. You became a DJ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 52. 52. Your sanity is pretty good, though. Yeah, my sanity. Where did, uh, where did, oh, yeah, it's, it's 89. Okay. 89 right now. So okay, so you succeeded. Good. Okay, so you yeah. lose one point. Okay. I'll lose uh, but you sort of point. shake it off, and you know, so there's just you know, sort of hair, so kind of going up uh, on the back of your neck I've, just I've because of the the association. I turn back and I give Mona a weird stare. Okay, so you're. <laughs> you I make eye contact with her. I'm like, you're feeling it too. <laughs> Do you want some? Oh, no, it's fine. Just why are you still wearing those ears? Out of all the things that have happened tonight, that's the question you're asking me. Never, never mind. 
I go back to hi hiding behind Alice. <laughs> As you're moving forward, Alice, go ahead and uh, roll against your sanity because you okay. made the decision to lead the group towards oh. the gunshots. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do we have any rerolls? We have two. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use one. <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Uh, Thirty-seven. That's a success. Okay, so you lose one point of sanity. It's going to be a weird thing to have to do every time your character makes a decision. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so as you guys are uh, walking sort of towards the direction of the gunshots, uh, you're starting to realize uh, it's been quiet for a little while mm -hmm. just in terms of background noise. This rain is still coming down. It's not pouring, but it's raining, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you are starting to hear more often in the distance uh, the occasional scream, uh, the occasional yell, the occasional cry for help. Um, distant, sometimes close. But it's happening around you. And as you guys sort of move forward, Dorothy, uh, you come to. You're no longer outside. You're, you've traded one dark warehouse, it seems, for another. Mm -hmm. uh, you are sitting... What? Well, what hits you first is a very, very uh, intensely bad smell. <laughs> and I'm going to have you roll against your constitution, please. Oh. Constitution? All the random rolls are happening today. 55. Mm -hmm. So we want to roll lower okay. than that. 65. <laughs> Jesus. So the moment you sort of come to, just the smell <laughs> overwhelms you, and <laughs> you're you just immediately involuntarily <laughs> start to retch and just throw up all over the floor. Um, <laughs> Forgot. And uh, you sort of like, as you look up, uh, as you sort of finish, and you know, you do that nice little last uh, spit. Um, <laughs> you, know, you know the one. Uh, you sort of look up, and the man who uh, had started to work on your arm is just sitting maybe a few feet away. He's just sort of sitting uh, against uh, a wall under a window, um, still holding that rifle, <coughs> just kind of watching you. Where am I? I ask him. You're then. You're then. What for me, you you're then. What do you want from me? <laughs> and he kind of like sort of takes a minute to sort of figure out how to even process uh, that question. And he kind of looks to your arm and he says, it's, it, it, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt for, for a long time. That was, it was bad. That was bad feels a little better now. Uh, you also took like one point of damage. Doesn't really matter too much, okay. but just as a note. Um, <clears throat> and he sort of stands up and he glances out that window and you sort of <coughs> gather that is literally the window he was standing in shooting that thing from. None of them. None, none, of, none of them here. By then you mean I, I'm not from this time, right? He sort of stops and like looks, and there's just like this weird moment where uh, the sort of like this like crazy, just general wild homeless guy haze sort of like leaves his eyes, and he just kind of looks at you as if you, someone has finally said the right thing to this guy for the first time in a little while, and he says, "This isn't your now. This isn't your now." I'm starting to realize that. My neither. What do we do? I don't know. I I should know, but I wasn't here when this happened. I was I, uh, I I was with my wife. We were having dinner when this happened. So I know what I did then. I know what I did then, but I oh uh, I, I but I uh, I wasn't I wasn't here. Now, then. A burst of light was the last thing you saw, a burst of light. Yeah. We gotta find that again. We gotta find the light. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, find the light. Let's find stand in here like <coughs> sitting ducks. Find the light. When? <laughs> When's your then? 1926. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> That's a then. When's yours? It's Halloween. It's October 31st. November 24th. So about 23, 24 days from now. Oh. You got it better. <laughs> Maybe. Lucky. <laughs> Fuck, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Find the light. F f find the light, yeah. That's our mission. Okay. Yeah, fuck, find the shore. And he kind of kind of gets up, and um, he's, he sort of picks up a coat off the ground and sort of adds it to the co two coats that he already has on. He runs his hands through his hair uh, for a second, and he's just kind of, like, looking around, and he starts to walk sort of uh, into the warehouse, and then it's almost like he remembers that suddenly he, he has someone with him again and just stops and looks at you and it's just like can you you can get up can you get up I can try I try to get up yeah you can get up okay um so you get up and uh this guy uh he moves sort of along uh the wall so we sort of there's the window there's the wall with the window here that faces the alley and then almost like making an L there's this <laughs> wall that comes down uh, that is facing the street. He's walking along uh, that wall, and he pushes. Uh, there's sort of an old uh, couch sort of against the doors, mm -hmm. and he pushes it out of the way and just sort of gestures for you to follow. I follow him. Okay. Uh, so you, uh, you walk up. The rain is still sort of thudding down. Uh, outside, it's hitting the roof. You sort of hear the the, the, the constant drone of it. And this guy, uh, he opens the window, or sorry, the door just a little bit, takes a look outside, glances around, sighs just a little bit, steps out onto the street. I follow him to the street. Okay. <coughs> and as you step out to the street, uh, we are going to cut back to the four of you mm -hmm. walking down the street away from the warehouse. Mm -hmm. As you are heading down the street, sort right. of in the distance behind you, you hear another scream far off, but then that scream is accompanied by that same growl, that same roar from whatever that thing was inside the food truck. There's you recognize that sound now. There's oh. more of them. I know. We're going to have to come up with a plan because I'm kind of trucks. Not only just a plan, but can we arm ourselves with anything? I think everything's probably free for the taking at this point. But if we find the sound, that person has a gun, at least one gun, maybe more than one. They have more. Okay. You said there was a lady, a convenience store lady? Yeah. Where was that at? Apparently on the other side of the block. She probably has a weapon. Don't they usually have one behind the counter? Yeah. Let's go. All right, take us there. All we have to do is circle. <coughs> so I push Mona yeah. in front. Go. Okay. And I leave. And I start hiding back. And I <laughs> go back in the direction of. Okay, the so lady with uh, the blade. you're sort of doing your best to sort of navigate yourself. Uh, back in that direction um, you know it's, it's, a, it's a grid so sort of at the next intersection you sort of take everybody left in an attempt to sort of get everyone uh, back towards that direction the direction of that the, 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 the convenience, convenience store, store. Um, as you guys are moving and walking um, would Everyone, please roll <laughs> their spot hidden. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Are there how any rerolls? Yeah, how many rerolls do we have? We have two. Okay. My spot hidden is a 60. Okay. So Mine is not. <laughs> Mine's a uh, I rolled a 37, so I already succeeded. Okay. Oh, I rolled an 85, so 
I do not succeed. Uh, That's a 52. 72. 72. Oh, shit. Mine's 25, yeah. so I don't know 25. if I'm going to have. I did not succeed. I won't take a reroll just because. Yeah, mine's, a 20. mine's really low, so yeah. I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> I succeeded. Okay. So as you guys sort of uh, this, I don't know, this pedestrian caravan sort of uh, makes this left. I'm now sort of at the back because I'm sad that we didn't keep walking the way that I wanted to go. <laughs> Got it. Okay. So you're sort of in What's the back. What's with the glum face? <laughs> You're sort of you know, trudging <laughs> behind just a little bit. Um, and as sort of the group sort of hangs this left, and you're the one sort of standing behind, um, further down the street, about half a block up, three more of those things, like the one that you saw in the back of the food truck, just sort of move their way up. They're humanoid. But they're sort of sloped forward and almost also just walking with their hands as well, almost like an ape would move. Mm -hmm. um, and as the three things sort of move, one of them, well, one moment. Let's see what it does. Okay. Uh, there's three of them. They're almost walking in a line, and the <coughs> second one just po stops suddenly to the point where the third one actually just, like, knocks into it. It turns around <laughs> and it growls at the third one uh, behind it, which snarls back. And then the the one in the middle um, s just takes this full turn towards you. The whole party hears just this piercing, just inhuman scream fill the air. Uh, followed by a second, followed by the third, as the two creatures that are with it uh, join in, and they just start hauling at your way. Oh, I guess its vision's not based on motion. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> not uh, T -Rexes. Great. Uh, I'm gonna um, uh, run in the direction of where everybody is. Okay. Uh, like looking for some sort of like cover, hiding kind of situation. Okay, so you are sort of uh, charging. Yeah, I, well, I want to charge forward and and sort of alert everybody. Okay. That there are these things <laughs> coming from. Yep. Save so me. Alice runs past the group, suddenly yelling. <laughs> there are those things. There's more of them. I told you there was only one monster inside. There's so many Almost monsters outside. Almost simultaneously with her yelling this, you hear those screams. <laughs> uh, how, how how close is the convenience run. store? How close is the convenience store? Uh, Is it on the other side of the block still? Yeah, so you've got like another sort of block and then maybe mm -hmm. like a block uh, to the right. Mona, run faster! Let's go, please! Run. I'm, I'm running. We're, we're talking and running, aren't we? Yes, we're going! Yes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the group is uh, running. As you guys are moving, uh, you get to the, the end of that block. Oh boy, here we go. You know, pretty, oh. pretty quickly, uh, you sort of come to the second um, intersection, and uh, as you look <laughs> Le um, left again uh, to the uh, to the right, to the sort right, of yeah. like down towards uh, where uh, the convenience store is, uh, you don't see anything mm -hmm. necessarily mm -hmm. uh, in the street, but you do hear those things screaming and kind of gaining. Guys, right! I follow her directions yeah, and I yeah, run the way yeah. she said to go. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Um, as you guys are uh, running, who's who's in the back? Alice? No, sort of. Alice no, and now Laura I'm more ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I'm probably in the back. Are we going off of move okay. rate? <laughs> uh, no, just sort of order. Cameron. Uh, uh, just sort of everybody's order. Um, Keaton, you're sort of the last one as you sort of, <laughs> as you sort of my heels. turn right. <laughs> 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 you, why didn't I wear my practical shoes Take to your a party? Shoes off. <laughs> Keaton, are you wearing? Is Keaton wearing heels? I'm wearing heels. Yes. She's in her party clothes. Yeah. yeah. Keaton, <laughs> roll your dexterity. <laughs> God yeah. It's time for the patriarchy to punish you for <laughs> shoe style. Oh no, that's a 48. 48. Yeah, good. And I got a 65, so yeah. Son of a bitch. Okay, yes. this yeah, is yeah. not. I'm used to this. I dance yeah. in my shoes all the time. Okay? Keaton dances in her shoes. Keaton has run from cops in high heels <laughs> after <laughs> buying. This is not her first. I got to bounce uh, wearing some very impractical shoes. So Keaton, uh, uh, out of the corner of your eye, as you sort of turn right, you see those things 
uh, sort of start to gain as uh, as they <gasps> come around the corner into the the street where you guys have just left. So they are That's still so bolting ahead. Uh, and as you guys are charging forward, we're going to cut back. Uh, Dorothy, you and um, Coats, just yeah. this weird. Two coats. <laughs> <laughs> you you and two coats um, <laughs> are uh, moving forward uh, along the street. Uh, will you roll your listen for me? Mm. <laughs> I'm imagining two coats as Kurt Russell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. Yeah, that's um, fine with me. Where is listen for you? Come on. <laughs> your go. listen is 50, so you're good. I'm good. Okay. Uh, so as the two of you are walking, um, uh, you start to sort of get the distinct sense of footfall uh, some distance behind you. It doesn't seem like Two Coats <coughs> either hears it or isn't paying attention, but there's definitely something moving behind you. Like multiple pairs of feet or just one? Uh, you had a pretty good success. Uh, it sounds like one, one, one something. One something. I stop. Okay. And I listen. Uh, you still hear uh, those, those footfalls sort of moving steadily. Uh, they're moving closer, and uh, as you sort of take that beat uh, to listen, uh, you can start to hear it, this ragged uh, breathing. We have to run. Again. <coughs> I start running. Okay. With two coats. Okay, you take off running. Two coats is kind of like, uh -huh. um, and he uh, tears <laughs> off running after you. As soon as you start to bolt, uh, you hear a very familiar uh, just roar. Uh, behind you, and if you sort of give it a second to even just like glance back behind you, that thing that had yeah. been dragging you, uh, it has come back around. It's re it's found its courage again, <laughs> and it is just like <laughs> roaring behind you. And this thing, uh, just <coughs> it's sort of slow moving at first, but it starts to really like pick up pace after you guys. Does two goats still have the rifle? Yes. Can we sh try and shoot it? Sure. Uh, uh, you want to try to convince them to do it? Yeah. The two coats. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, what time is it, man? <laughs> <laughs> so, Dorothy, as you're sort of like running alongside this guy, um, you know, you're just like, hey, 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 shoot, 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 shoot. And uh, he sort of looks behind him and is kind of like, fuck. Um, uh, and as he is uh, running, uh, one, hold it one moment for me. Uh, you guys are just sort of like running. You're hauling ass. Um, he is working on trying to, he's got just this very like simple uh, 22. He's trying to reload it. Um, where'd you go, character? <laughs> where'd you go, two coats? Isn't two coats! Isn't the suspense just killing you? <laughs> um, two coats. Two coats. There you are. Uh, so as you guys are sort of, he's like he running and trying to Kurt like, Russell, uh, he's trying to like <laughs> yeah. reload uh, this rifle, and uh, he just sort of turns around. He's he's doesn't really slow down at all. He just sort of swings this thing behind the two of you, uh, and almost um, just like an over the shoulder is just trying to shoot while running. Holy shit, he did it! Yeah, um, totally. Go to so uh, I always knew it could. Uh, uh, there's this like th this it's ringing, this Russell. ringing in your ear suddenly as this like rifle shot uh, fires off just right next to you. Um, uh, so the sound sort of like rocks through your ear. You hear the the scream of this creature um, as it's shot, and um, two coats uh, uh, sort of uh, starts trying to reload and glances back over his shoulder and is just like. It's not slowing down. It's not slowing down. Um, and as you guys are continuing to run, we're going to cut back to you guys <laughs> running this way. You hear another gunshot. Uh, behind us? Guns, guns, ahead guns. Ahead of you, ahead, ahead of you, ahead of you, ahead of you. We have to keep running that way. Go, 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 go. <sighs> okay. Uh, and as uh, the two... Uh, we have four to go, we have to go. The four of you are, are continuing to run. Uh, you see ahead of you, there's two figures running uh, in your direction at this point now Dorothy you also see that there's just like four people running towards you one of them looks vaguely familiar the one that looks uh, like a cat the one, yeah the one dressed as a as a weird uh, sexy cat lady 
I already, as as we're obviously about to have this collision, I I'm like looking to see if it's like a four-way intersection. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, is there is there a way that like all of us could potentially duck out in another direction so these two creatures would like be, end up face to face? So, um, about I don't know a, another like three buildings. Uh, it, God, man, it's almost like someone wrote it like this. Uh, <laughs> uh, sort of in between the two approaching mm -hmm. parties is that uh, that convenience store uh. where you sort of recognized uh, that you recognize where you were, where that lady had called out for mm -hmm. you. So you you see it at this point uh, as you're heading towards it. Guys, we got to decide quickly. There's a convenience store right there with maybe yeah, it's right there. guns, and then there's for sure a gun in that direction. They're running towards us. If we go that way, you think maybe they'll just follow us? You're running and talking. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going into the fucking store! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Jake, you sort of like take off, like just bolting almost like across the street uh, uh, towards this store. Uh, uh, we're just gonna cut perspective back again. Yeah. Uh, Dorothy, you and Two Coats are running. You see this guy sort of like <laughs> peel off from this group and he's running towards, uh, across the street. You sort of kind of follow where he's naturally going and you see uh, that there is a building. There's like a gate in front of it, but the gate is part way open. So it <coughs> mm -hmm. so like a person could shimmy through can it. I, mm -hmm. Yeah, can I try and slide through? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so Dorothy, you also sort of take off across the street. Uh, mm -hmm. running two coats, uh, keep step. He mm -hmm. sort of sees what you're doing like pretty quickly. He stays locked in step with you um, as you guys are running. Uh, the also I'm running. I'm assuming you guys are also. To go shimmy through it'd the be gate. weird if one of you was like, I'm, I'm just, just going to stand here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till so, you see my plan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the two parties converge almost at once uh, in front of this gate. There is, there's, Plenty of room. It's not even okay. like a squeeze. There's enough room for all of you to sort of start ducking under this thing. Uh, you guys instantly recognize the smell and sight of the weird screamy guy that you. Uh, shoved uh. you against a wall. I, I, I don't have anything on me, man. I gave you $100. He also has a gun now. Hey, brother. <laughs> hey, he's cool. He's with me. Uh, I don't know who you are. <laughs> what the hell is that There's mean like to me? There's like this weird lady in, a, in what seems to be a Halloween costume that's like, he's cool, he's cool. And Two Coats literally immediately just has like the rifle up pointed at you guys whoa. and just hey, yelling whoa, whoa, like, whoa, just get in the building, get in the building. We're going. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Uh, so uh, every, okay, so uh, what, what order is this kind of going? I think uh, Two Coats has the gun. He sort of like gestures you for you to sort yeah, of go yeah. in first. Um, mm -hmm. I'm fucking scared, so I'm like... Uh, way behind. Dorothy, as you are sort of uh, jutting under this thing, uh, the Take door to the door to the store <laughs> opens. Uh, there is uh, a, a brunette woman with like long uh, brown hair and this just dark red uh, blazer uh, standing there. She opens up the door and she's just like, "Get in!" I do. You don't gotta tell yes, us yeah. twice. Okay. Her and the rifle. I'm <laughs> okay, so uh, so everybody is starting to get yeah, in. Yeah, I'm gonna get um, in. Okay, two coats is sort of just standing, just gesturing for people to get in. You've gone in. You've gone mm -hmm. in. You've got in. Jake. Okay, uh, so uh, coats comes in. Uh, as he is sort of like rolling under, you guys are hearing the screams. Uh, you now those the three things that were chasing you guys are close. They're just they're twenty five feet, twenty feet, fifteen feet. They're closing. Uh, this gate is open. Two coats is like struggling to close this gate. Fuck, I'm, gonna gate. Yeah, I'm gonna help him. I'm gonna help him. So do I. Okay, so the two of you uh, yeah. are, are working on trying to close this gate. I mm -hmm. need both of you to uh, roll against your strength, please. This okay. is a this is just like a gate gate. It's not like a barbed wire, like an electrical fence. Right. Yeah, it's just situation. like a, yeah, like like a normal front gate. gate. I'm gonna yeah, yeah. reroll. Re well, here's what we're gonna do. Since uh, uh, you are sort of trying to pull Mona's helping uh, go ahead and roll with advantage so you're gonna roll twice and take the best of the two rolls both of us or just uh, okay. just Jake okay. oh boy I got uh, I got a uh, so my strength is 70 and I got 70 was the best roll That's a mm. uh, so you are um, <laughs> As you, you're, you're struggling uh, with this gate, and you can sort of feel it, like you feel like there's just something, it, 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 whether it's caught on something or just or just grinding, you're pulling at this thing as these things are just like 
moving towards you. You can you can see the details on the first one as it's just running towards you. This like slobber pouring out of its face. You have re rolls. Uh, all of those uh, would have been better rolls. Uh, uh, you you have re rolls. I have re rolls. Yeah, all right, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm re rolling. This I'm thing is like running towards you. You're struggling to pull this gate down. Hurry up! You're pretty strong. You can do it. Oh please, God. Okay. Yeah. Seven, seven. Yeah, yep. seven. seven. Yeah, seven. Yeah. Okay. Uh, slammed that. Took me a second. Oh, I was damn. like, wait a minute, yeah. wait a minute. This thing, it's not too bright. It slams against the gate trying to get at you. It's not, it doesn't seem bright enough to realize it can just mm -hmm. easily sort of like reach under, grab and pull. It's just grabbing. You see these just, uh, its mouth opens and just these broken, just screwed up teeth that are just pointing in impossible directions start to just like grind themselves against the bars you're trying to pull this thing down uh, and you're able to just suddenly the gate just suddenly pulls down into place uh, as the second and the third also just run uh, into the gate uh, and are just like throwing their body weight against this thing but it seems like it's holding um, and as that's happening uh, the two of you the ones sort of operating the gate sort of look this uh, fourth creature who that just looks like this weird, sort of skinless, almost Horse? equestrian, something between uh, uh, equestrian and insect almost, uh, is also just sort of like slowly approaching, but almost like it's just sort of like walking past and observing. Um, just almost like a, just a quick drive by to sort of scope out uh, what's happening. It locks eyes with the two of you. As this gate closes, what do you do? Back up quickly. Okay. That's what I do. I'm going to start walking back, and as I close the door, I'm like, look at this, you son of my horse, motherfucker. <laughs> as I close the door. <laughs> okay. Uh, so. <laughs> what did you say? Come on, don't go fuck off. What was it? I don't. How would what I know? What did you see? There's a skinless horse creature. Along with the three thing, three other things we already saw before. All we need to know is that they want to eat us. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's not all we need to know. Probably need to know why this is happening. So as um, uh, the two of you sort of walk in, rejoin uh, the group, uh, you're in this uh, convenience convenience store, store mm -hmm. uh, which is normal for them, not maybe so much for you. Um, the power's on. It's flickering. Mm -hmm. uh, you hear the rain sort of thudding. Um, uh, and as you guys are sort of like talking with each other mm -hmm. a little bit as you come in, uh, you hear your host, uh, this woman in the red blazer, who just sighs and just says, and you've brought them to the door. Yeah, we're running from them. What was the other choice? <sighs> you said get in. If you had said go around the back, we would have tried that, maybe. And that's what I get for helping people. Okay, great. Where's your liquor section? It's right there. I'm already at the liquor section. <laughs> Let me ask it's management. Where, it's where Keaton is. <laughs> Young lady, have you found the liquor section? You seem the type. What is that supposed to mean? As I'm drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Apple schnapps. <This> fucking <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking crazy out there, okay? So, uh, yeah, so the woman, she sort of, sort of sits on the counter and she's like, yeah, it's <laughs> fucking crazy out there. I noticed. Who are you? What's your name? Um, she sort of gives you a look. She takes off uh, the blazer. And as she's talking, she's, you sort of notice she's, uh, she's just kind of folding it very carefully as opposed to someone who's just sort of been through hell would probably just maybe throw it on the ground or not even remember that they had the jacket on uh, in the first place. But she's sort of folding it, uh, putting it over her arm. Um, my name's Abigail. You work here? Am I dressed like I work here? Man, I don't know. I, I don't know if there's a dress code here. It's just very nicely. Mm. Um, no, I don't work here. I found here. When hell started falling out of the sky. What's your story? We were at a Halloween party. <laughs> and then the sky was on fire. Was there no one here when you came in here? Where were you? No, there was no one here. What are you well, doing where did here? you come from? A driver was taking me back to the airport. 
everything went to hell. Someone ran out in front of the road. He tried to avoid it. His car hit a building about a block away. I walked here to try to use a phone because my cell phone wouldn't work. And here we are. That about brings you up to speed. Did you find a phone? Did landlines work? Landline, the landline here didn't work, no. God damn it. It's nice to see that you finally took me up on my offer. Welcome. Is there anybody else here? There was. He's Ooh. gone. Define gone. Did he get eaten? I don't know. Some photographer. Oh, yeah, he got eaten really then. Yeah, I mean, by the Los shot. Angeles definition of photographer, a man with a camera. <laughs> was, this he, woman? was he asking you <laughs> to, to do a sh like a nude shoot? What are you talking about? What does that mean? No. He just no, he's <laughs> one of those creeps with a camera that walks around and says, I, I take pictures. He kept trying to make bad jokes. He was freaking out. He was panicking, and he finally ran out into the street. He's out there somewhere, or he's been eaten by one of those things. I don't know. Probably got eaten. I love yeah. your costume, by the way. Happy it's Halloween. It's not a costume. Yeah, who are you? What's well, that? then. What? I'm sure your new studio you in Silver Lake is wonderful. Look, I don't know what you're talking about. All I know is my friend Two Coats and I seem to be from the same kind of place. Is, is Two Coats still pointing a gun at us? Two Coats is, um, we he's sort of standing off on his own. He's holding the gun. He's not, like, pointing mm -hmm. it at anyone, but he's just eyeing all of you very suspiciously. Okay. I'm clutching my purse. We met your friend before. Did you, did you know him before this? No, I just met him here. And this time. And hey, my dude, what's and your this name? This time. My name? Yeah. I don't know the rules. She just said his name. It's two coats. That's not a name. That's a nickname. So I don't know what? You don't have to Leave tell them alone. your name. The rules to what? Don't make this guy mad. I'm not trying to make him mad. I'm trying to humanize him. What do you him. mean about the who rules? He is. You are now. Rules. You are now. And I don't know if... Now, now, You're meaning supposed to know me. Two thousand before. Before. Oh, god damn it! Are and you not this from guy, now? He, he just sort of like breaks left towards Keaton again, uh, and just storms <gasps> towards you. Uh, launches a fist back out and reaches right past <gasps> you. Grabs just a bottle of something. Uh, pulls the twist open and just starts just chugging uh, this bottle of vodka. I go and like try to grab the vodka bottle out of his hand because I want to talk to him. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you make, <laughs> a, you make a snatch. Uh, <laughs> screw it. Let's find out if this works. Uh, roll, please. Uh, go and just... We haven't gotten a roll this yet. Uh, roll your fighting brawl. Uh, it's going to be a combat ball. thing. All right. <laughs> Not a good score for me. <laughs> oh! Five and I rolled a twenty-six. <laughs> <laughs> you do. You have six re-rolls. Uh, I'll use one. Why not? That was bad. One more. <gasps> Eight, baby. Oh, <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, you. You reach. Uh, you sort of storm over to this guy mm -hmm. and you snatch this bottle. Alice, what are you doing? What do you mean about the out rules? Of, out of his hand. You keep talking about the rules and the, and the, and the now and the before. What are you talking about? And right before you start questioning him, you see this like there's this look of almost um, surprise and respect in the guy's arm, in the guy's eyes, and something about that look triggers in you uh, like a, a a positive memory. I remember <laughs> it was one time we were on set and we were supposed to go and do this publicity appearance and I didn't want to do it. It, it. it was a talk show. It, it was a late night talk show. It was a really bad, dirty kind of one. It, it wasn't right for children, but the publicist kept insisting that we go do it and I... I just, it was the first time I ever stood up for myself. I told him I wouldn't do it. I told him that I didn't think it was right, and I didn't care what they wanted me to do. I didn't want to do it, and so I wasn't going to. And Jacob stood by me. He said he was proud of me and that I should never, ever have to do something I didn't want to do. That if I didn't think it was right, then it wasn't right. 
Go ahead and roll 1d4 plus 1. Two. Okay. I'm extremely bad at rolling d4s. <laughs> so I only roll ones. Okay, so you get uh, two sanity points okay. back. Uh, what are you shouting at this guy? I said the now. You keep talking about the, the now and the rules and the before. What does that mean? It means it means now's not now for me. When's now for you? Fucking, I don't know. And he scrunches up his face just tight, and he's just – he puts his hand over his head, and you uh, you can almost see um, where his skin is, is getting white because you can see sort of the <laughs> pressure of his fingertips sort of against his skin. It's, 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 this is hard for him to talk. It's hard for him to even sort of get his mind around. He says, um, this is I, – I was, I was here, but I, I wasn't I, – I, I was here today, and I was here tomorrow – you're from and I was here the day after that, and you're from but after? now I'm here. I'm here again, and what the? F- Did this wait? If you're from after now, now was your now like this? This this happened. This happens. This happens, and it's only gonna get worse. This happens, and it only gets worse. Really? Wait. Cool. Hey, Sex in the City. Did you find a gun around here? Oh, me. Yes. Abigail. Yep. No. Damn it. But you, you said that you were like him. I'm, I'm from the past. I'm like him, but different. I'm, uh, my time is 1926. 1926. That's why you thought Santa Anita was still open. Okay. Do you think That's why you dress so cool. What was, what was was any of this happening in there? I mean, it might not be our past. N- no, no. I mean, all I remember was was a a Jimmy and a Phil and a whole lot of arguing, and then a, a big bright light, and I showed up here. Wait. As you guys are talking, you can hear <coughs> those things still growling, still sort of like roaring in anger outside. You hear them sort of like thudding. <laughs> against the security gate. They're still out there, almost like they're they're reminding you that you're not alone. DJ. Hey. Hey. What? What? Give me some paper towels. Get them yourself. <sighs> oh my God. Oh, I turned I'm trying to be proactive here. I turned to two coats. Listen, the ocean's falling out of the sky. There are monsters outside. I think all the rules, whatever you think the rules are, are out the window. What's your mm-hmm. name? James. All right, James. James, did the start this, this, it started on, on Halloween? It started now. It started today. I don't know why I'm back here. I don't want to do this again. What happened? I don't want to fucking do this again. What happened the first time around? So it's possible then. I throw a roll of paper towels over at... I grab them. And I have uh, bottles of whiskey in my hand that I start handing to everybody. It's not just Los Angeles. It's New York. It's Chicago. It's everywhere. It's Houston. Toronto. That's as many as I heard about. They took me somewhere. I don't know where I was. (coughs) I don't know what they are. But I don't want to do this again. You... As I go around the counter and grab lighters and throw them to everybody. <laughs> it's called a Molotov cocktail. Be prepared to make one if those things get in here. You just light the paper towel on fire? You put the paper towel in the whiskey bottle, light it on fire, and chuck it. Do they die to fire? What's your story? Army? Cop? Los Angeles food truck worker. <laughs> <laughs> but I did live through the riots. All right. I don't want to do this again. Has this all happened before? Do you know us? No. Okay, well, that's good. Maybe were you in Los Angeles when this happened? No. No, I don't know why I'm here. I don't know how I got to Los Angeles. I don't know how I got to L.A. When you got here... 
where were you? Because we, we met you in the hallway when we were on our, our way to the door that took us to this. We gave you money. He's trying to tell, he's sort of trying to like work through a memory almost. He's trying to like, he, his face like scrunches up again uh, as he's trying to remember. He's just like, there was darkness, there was water. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a dirt floor. There was that door. The maze. Okay. I don't know how long I was there. This guy's I remember crazy. you. I remember seeing you. Okay. I remember seeing you. I grabbed you. I'm sorry. I grabbed you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. What? I didn't mean to. I didn't. I didn't know what was real. It's fine. Thank you. Uh, he sort of just like leans sort of back <coughs> against the wall as you hear those things just sort of like <sighs> ramming again into the security gate. I think that there's something about that warehouse building. What warehouse building? This is Abigail, the, the woman sort of sitting the, on the counter. The one that the Halloween party was at. We went in and there was a a guy in a in a tuxedo who told us we had to go in in a group of five. And when we went in, there were multiple doors. And the one that was straight ahead is what took us here, but that wasn't the first door we went in. We went in another door, and in that one, we went to a party, another party only. It didn't seem like a party So there was now. a party at the party. It was like someone else's party? No, it was... What is your robot saying? They... What? No. Uh, they... Is this a one-story building, or is it connected to, like, a bigger building? Um, it, it looks like it's... Uh, this is, like, the first floor of a, of a, of a two-story building as you sort of were running in. You know, it's like there's the ground floor strip, and then there's whatever the mystery is of... I want to well, see The eternal if mystery a... of whatever's upstairs. In, in I want to like see if this. there's a way to get to the roof. If there's a ladder mm. or a back room area. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, as you, uh, okay, so Jake, uh, you started to like look around, uh, the store a little bit. Um, Alice, you were talking about the party. Yeah. You were explaining the door to Abigail. Yes. Okay. They, it was, it was like a, a different time. The other party kind of, they got all the drinks wrong. Even yeah. though everybody ordered pretty normal drinks. Like my time? That's mm. what I think. That's I don't know. Right. I think everything looked older than that. So well. you went through a door in time so that someone could buy you a drink? N no, it wasn't like that. We were trying to get to the party we were going to. But... <sighs> this is impossible. Ugh. Hey, you asked us to come in here, by the way. <coughs> As you are sort of investigating... May I remind uh, you, the Jake. ocean's falling out of the sky. How is this impossible? I suppose relatively, in relative terms. Um, and as she says that, the power cuts <laughs> out in the building. Oh, great. There's still light, a little bit of light coming in from outside, so it's mm -hmm. not pitch black or anything like that. And Jake, you have sort of like made your way... Uh, to the corner of the store, you're sort of looking around. You're sort of towards the dairy. You know, there's usually like something past yeah, yeah. Uh, the dairy where they load in. But as you are walking past, uh, you see the security mirror in the corner. And as you're looking up, you can sort of see uh, the rest of the group uh, standing in the mirror. And as you are looking up at it, uh, Mona in the mirror looks directly at you in your reflection. And her eyes just glow red. And that huh? is where we will end today as Jake Ooh. feels the last vestige of the sanity and <laughs> calm that he is gripping <laughs> and oh holding on to. <coughs> that is where uh, yeah, we will end this bitch. episode. Yeah. Of he left it dead. <laughs> Yay! Yay. Yay. Yay.
That was fun. Uh, uh, we got a donation. Uh, uh, we hit our goal late in the game. Uh, awesome. So rather than give you guys a, a, a measly 10 minutes mm -hmm. of uh, Jake being completely psychotic. It's going to be all of next week. We'll give week. you a whole episode next week. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I, I give you guys your, your money's worth. At least, I, I you know, I try to. <laughs> I try to. Uh, thank you guys so much hey. for watching. Thank you guys so much for playing. Kim, hey. Cameron, oh, oh. Janelle, Emma, Maddie. Yay. Hey, thanks hey. for having me. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, that was so fun. Uh, uh, I hope you had a good time. I'm very excited. I, <laughs> very cool. I, I hope it wasn't super overwhelming and weird. Uh, welcome no, to super it. Super normal. <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> pretty pretty standard. Uh, let me read through uh, audience donations. Uh, bear with me, you guys. We have a bunch. Um, Are these woo! last week's too? I Since need. I'm not sure how to get to last week's. Yeah. Okay, I'll do cool. this week's first, and then I'll do last week's as promised. All right. Perfect. Let me read uh, through these suckers. Um, uh, so out the gate, uh, Vega Galactic, thank you so much. Vega! Uh, Devaro31, <laughs> Dorothy has a hashtag phobia of horses. Uh, <laughs> I love that. Thank you. <laughs> I just like the idea if you're like, all my I childhood love I've loved horses. <laughs> and Chad's just like, no, 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 no. no. You hate happen. them now. You are terrified of horses. Not anymore. Mexican Robin, hashtag uh, hey, Robin. Uh, build uh, for an NPC. Uh, the, so a couple people are building towards an NPC. I'm not going to give you guys uh, the details okay. of who they are, so they can be a surprise. Uh, Mexican Robin again had mm -hmm. uh, uh, built towards a hashtag phobia uh, for Keaton. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what this one oh. is. As they oh. Ooh, good. Uh, Doomsday Danny hashtag phobia yeah, of making decisions. Thank you so much. That's <laughs> that was going so to be. Funny, Danny. Uh, that's going to haunt you for the rest of the game. That was oh, no. funny. Well <laughs> uh, Orion Power 2000. One hashtag reroll. Just what you need when the world's ending. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> Doomsday Danny. Let's learn more about Dorothy. Hashtag insanity for our sweet, innocent girl. Uh, Mr. F for uh, Mr. Fran for fantasy. Uh, this gang is going to need some hashtag reroll. Duke you. Devil Heck 95. Yeah. <laughs> hashtag reroll. I mean, surely they won't need mm. these because I've watched this show before. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, Negahama, thank you. Full cast hype. Hashtag reroll. Hell yes, full cast hype. Uh, Woo! Again, welcome to the show, Maddie. Uh, 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 Jay Pistol, uh, Keaton Michaels has a hashtag phobia of bats. <laughs> I uh, love that one. <laughs> I spent the whole episode, I was like, how do we do this? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, she's Great. Catwoman. Uh, Doomsday Danny, Great. hashtag MPC, a woman dressed in red. Uh, domineering and officious, civil yet unpleasant. Mm. Um, here she is. Her name's Abigail Stein. I hope you enjoy mm. her. Um, Duke Devil 95 hashtag phobia. Um, this is Jake's uh, fear of corpses. Oh, yeah. Um, Jay Pistol, uh, couldn't quite hear what they were asking <laughs> for. It was insanity, right? Hashtag insanity for Cameron. WCH, <laughs> hashtag reroll. Good yes. luck, y'all. Yes. The Shadow Piper, uh, a hashtag reroll, and a little bit of hashtag monster build action. Uh, Jay Pistol, a hashtag reroll, because I'm worried you're going to die before you have time to go <laughs> insane, which we'll just not do. <laughs> say Danny, mm -hmm. hashtag sanity for woke ass Alice. <laughs> uh, woke ass Alice. <laughs> super lot. Four more for a hashtag reroll. Duke Devil 95, uh, hashtag NPC, a man carrying a camera, went out tonight to just shoot some photos, Aww. and the world went crazy. He's coming back. Um, Good. Uber Baldy, a uh, bit towards a hashtag reroll. Thanks, buddy. Uh, Mr. Al, one hashtag reroll. Thank you guys so yeah. much. Uh, we hit uh, we hit our first goal. Uh, so a weird horse thing showed up. Mm -hmm. Bit your arm. Very mean thing. <laughs> it was mean. Not, not desired. <laughs> so cruel. <laughs> Mona just abandoned you too. That was mm. fun. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That Good. was fun. Mm. Good. Uh, and we hit our second goal as well tonight. Thank you guys so Yay. much. Woo. So Jake will go uh, good and insane, insane. Uh, next week. And let me get to oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. last week's uh, stuff. Uh, bear with me, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, Arid Zinc, um, yay for Volume 3. If he left it dead, can't wait to see a new story, new characters. Happy birthday, Emma. Yay. So in that spirit, that here is a hashtag <laughs> sanity for Emma's character. Perhaps a birthday-related memory? They were, mm. uh, yeah, you were. Uh, you kept having to roll against your sanity. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> so Elder Dog, the birthday gift that keeps on giving. Hashtag insanity for Alice. Devaro31, Alice Lang has a hashtag phobia of cell phones. Uh, Supalot. Uh, uh, I liked the... 
modification you made, Joe. <laughs> oh, with it like no, the anxiety dead, for yeah. it not working. Uh, four, uh, four hashtag rerolls. These always come in handy. Thank you, soup a lot. Bradley Burnett hashtag reroll. Mm -hmm. Welcome back, Joe, Emma, and Kim. Welcome, Cameron, and Janelle. You're gonna need mm -hmm. those rerolls. Happy birthday, Emma. Game of Joe B. Loud music triggers a phobia for Alice. Uh, dashing CN, hashtag NPC, James Kirkpatrick, mm -hmm. a former FBI agent who, after a mythos encounter, now dresses like he is homeless. I'm not going to say oh. that part. I forgot about that part. I'll, I'll add it next week. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> Mr. Fantasy, hashtag NPC, finishing off dashing CN's NPC. Uh, I love this guy. Thank you guys mm -hmm. so much for adding him to the game. Uh, Kel, uh, Kel uh Hashtag insanity for Joe to dish out uh, uh, to whomever best suits the story. I can't remember who I cursed with with that one. Uh, JC Wall, ha Alice's brother, but hashtag evil. Oh, there's that. <laughs> that's how uh, he ended up in there. That's how he uh, tried. That's how your brother tried to murder you. Uh, Devaro thirty one. Well. Keaton Michaels has a hashtag phobia of cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> As you should. Uh, yeah, true, that's true, legit. Yeah. Yeah. Bradley Burnett hashtag phobia okay. when Alice was a mm, uh, when Alice was on uh, minor inconveniences <laughs> part of the mindset collapsed the crew got everyone else except for Alice. Yeah, so uh, so you have a phobia yeah. of uh, uh, a uh, phobia of claustrophobia. Yeah. Uh, a phobia of claustrophobia. You, I am you just have claustrophobia. <laughs> yeah. Utter chaos. Hashtag reroll. Thank you. Uh, Doomsday Danny. Every creepy house has its own hashtag evil dolls. The mm -hmm. kind that follow that you. So Those good. giggles are unnerving. Very unnerving. Stump. We'll finish <laughs> off the hashtag evil dolls. Spooky, creepy, crawling, starving for human flesh dolls. Mm -hmm. Thinking old grandma porcelain head with glass eyes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you still have the doll? No, because the, okay. the doll talked to me in the room with That's the fair. You wouldn't keep that doll. Yeah. That would be ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, Stump. <laughs> can't have a birthday. Birthday without hashtag NPC clown to sing happy yeah. birthday. If nothing else, it'll work as a meat shield for a moment. Happy birthday, Emma. Mm -hmm. Game of Joe B. Someone's phone starts playing the song Tiny Bubbles. The phone refuses to shut off. It gets progressively louder. Mm -hmm. Hashtag yeah. evil. Uh, the Shadow Piper. Let's get that hashtag monster. First, how about a hashtag reroll? Mm -hmm. Um... Negahama, some hashtag insanity for Mona V. Stump, hashtag sanity for each of the players. Someone needs to try to keep them sane. <laughs> Do you? But thank you. Uh, Royal Tsunami, hashtag GM. Uh, Shoot, that hasn't happened yet. It sort of started last week. Uh, it will continue next week because I have a thing for it. We just didn't get to it. Uh, so I won't tell them what that is. Uh, and Jay Pistol, Ooh. happy birthday, Emma. Hashtag re-roll. Uh, those are our donations from last week and this week. Thank you guys so, so Yay. much. Uh, thank you. Thank you guys for playing. Maddie, I'm so happy you're here. Yeah. So welcome welcome me to on. the game. And uh, we will see you guys next week, 7 o'clock on Tuesday. Until then, let the madness take you. Good night.